Testing. Okay. Uh, that doesn't need to be there. All right, I'm using my Yeti, so if my mic's a little weird, you have to let me know. It's me, hi guys, how you doing? Hi, Master Bismuth, congrats, Save. you were first. Hi and bye, hi, St. Clair. Excuse me, how is everybody? I'm eating mashed potatoes. Don't mind me. How are you guys doing? All right, Yeti Mike. I think you're loud enough. Maybe could be a little louder. Where's my gain? It's a sculpture material for my mouth. Num 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 num. Yeah, it was last night and I was like, all I had was soup today. And I was like, oh, I have some potatoes laying around. I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes. They're little red potatoes. So I just cut them up and then smashed them. I'm eating the skins, because I guess it's healthy. So. I figure I'll take my vitamins too. There we go. Hmm. The monster clay? Yeah, I'll try not to. Give me a second. Sorry. All right, how are you guys doing? What's up? What's new? <clears throat> I'll tell people I'm live. I am live. Come watch me eat mashed potatoes. Nom nom. Hi, Merrick. How you doing? Your brain is poo, but that's not new. It rhymes though. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. This is totally edible, not at all sculpture material. All right. I am live. These are the right channels. I had the weirdest dream last night, this morning, whatever. I, a long time ago, on stream, was paid, was it like 20 bucks? I think I got paid 20 bucks to drink my paint water, take a big sip of it. Anyway, don't do that. I generally keep my paint water in something that does not look like I'd want to drink out of it, so. There you go. All right. Let me finish my mashed potatoes. Oh, I forgot two vitamins. Hold on. I'll be back. I gotta get my other two vitamins. You enter and entertain anyone that comes by. You. Perfect. Okay. So today, sure. Hi, Biddle McFluffy. How you doing? You guys are very good at entertaining. Thank you. Uh, I'm just gonna be working on making a mold for Pikachu and then painting some more. So, um, I had a late start today. I don't know how I want to mold this though. Anyway. Oh. Oh. 
potato. Nom 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 nom. Order something yummy. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. I gotta stare at this for a minute. How? How do I? I'll do it like that. Oh, the same. I actually didn't make enough. To be fair, I only had like a handful of red potatoes. But. Yeah, I made them last night and I was like, oh, I'll add some butter and I didn't make enough. So I added too much butter and I was like, oops, still incredibly delicious. So I'm not mad about it. Uh, what if I did that? Well, then that blocks everything over here. Don't mind me. I'm just playing with my lights. What if I do this? There we go. Yeah, I, as I was saying, I'm like, I don't know if that is a thing. It's a thing because I had the milk already heated up and ready to go in, and I put so much butter in that I was like, I don't, I don't know if I need milk. <laughs> so I just put in half the milk. I was like, okay, in that example, it was too much butter, but uh, it was delicious, and I, I was, I'm not mad at it. I also had like a few cloves of garlic. I just threw that in with the boiling water for the potatoes and then I mashed it all together. So they're a little garlicky, which is delicious. Uh, what's your thing at? How far? Oh, that's why. That's why it's so bright. Junk brain. No, you pretty. All right, hold on. Thank you for the 47 months. Thank you. Thank you. You're a pretty lady. Excuse me. How are you? So I've been uh, watching Friends just because it's like my happy nerdy white show that's old and nostalgic. And uh, there's a chance I might put it on. So be warned. We can both be okay. I suppose we both can be fine. There we go. Oh, it's because I have black Legos that so it's making the camera be all weird. Oh, I'll figure it out later. I just need to get this mold a molding. What if I put you lower? There we go. So my hands that make it? No, okay. You've never seen Friends, which feels like a crime because you love old sitcoms? A lot of people bash on it because it's just... I don't know. It's just dorky. <laughs> but Friends was coming out when I was alive, and uh, I thought it was great. And, uh... It's like one of those stupid things you put on as background, but I put on as background that give me the giggles where I'm like, hey, that's so silly. So I've been putting that on as background like the last few days and I'm like, this is perfect to work to. So part of me is like, you should put friends on. Just do it. Just put it on. Make them suffer. And I'm like, maybe I will make them suffer. I don't know. So I'm warning you guys about the impending suffering. Why are you so loud? <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> you dig it? Thank you. you know, thank you for the tear tape. 51 months in a row. How are you? Hold on. I'm immediately fixing this. Excuse me. Anyway, thank you, thank you. Uh, where's my, my thing in my boobs? 
Oh my god. Subscriptions. No, I don't want them screaming at me. No. It's not my thing. All right. Variations when it's a tier two. We don't have it scream at me. All right, we'll see how that works. Okay. Anyway, can't watch anymore probably because you've seen too much IRL foolishness. I feel you. I understand. But for me, so I just downloaded it the other like a week ago, totally legally, of course. <laughs> And uh, I was like, I wonder how it holds up. So I was also watching, before this, I was watching Buffy. And I was like, I wonder how Buffy holds up. It's been so long since I watched it. And I was like, it's lost a little magic for me. It's lost a little bit of its magic. But it's still Buffy, and I still really enjoy it. Um, so I'm like, I wonder how Friends will fare. And uh, so far, you know, yeah, it's, it's nerdy. I like it. Mm. We love legal downloads. So good. You like friends and scrubs as you win sometimes at problematic moments. I enjoy the problematic moments. It's oddly nostalgic where I'm like, oh, <laughs> remember when you could smoke on TV? That's that's different now. Anyway. That's what I've been watching when I do stuff like this. Oh, I want to. All right. I was trying to get this mold done last night, so I only had to do the other half today, but I went to bed early-ish, and I was like, oh, I don't, I don't have time. So. I've never seen Scrubs. Let me move things forward by someone doing an obviously stupid thing. I don't know if I... I mean, those are like dramas. Dramas are always like, if you just said the thing, this thing wouldn't happen. I don't know. I don't think too hard on it. <clears throat> what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, you know, you can just be a foot. No, because then if I do this... Hold on, I'm thinking. Hi, OJ, how are you? I am the favorite streamer. Wow. No, see, then this won't get filled. This won't get filled. Your tolerance is super low. That's fair. I don't watch a lot of TV. So I always go back to stuff I used to, or like old stuff I've watched. Because if it's new stuff, then I have to pay complete attention to it and not work. And I can't just sit there and watch stuff. The only new thing I watched that I didn't really pay attention to is The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Because I was like, this is, this is so bad. It's so bad, I don't actually need to watch it. Which was great. So if I do this, and then I put a whole rate so that covers up my signature. I didn't think about how I wanted to do this. Just put a little hoop. A little no, that makes sense. Oh well, whatever. I'll we'll figure it out. Anyway, I found a creepy soulless Pikachu. It's a sculpture I made like 10, 15 years ago or something. 
And I made a few copies. It was when I was first learning to do resin casting and whatnot. And then I, I found this while I was cleaning and I was like, oh, you know what? It's actually pretty good. I'll remold it and uh, put a few in my shop. I did. He was completely covered in paint, so I did spend three hours sanding him. And then I resculpted his fingers because they were no good. So. And then I have his ears and his tail to do also. So. Oops. Oh, yeah. I sanded without you guys. Sorry. It was very not fun sanding. Mm -hmm. Hey, how was everyone's weekend? Their week so far? I wanted to do this yesterday, but my sleep schedule got all messed up. Today, it's still kind of messed up, but better. This morning, I had crazy dreams that if anyone has played Baldur's Gate 3, that um, everyone turned into a mind flayer. Everybody in the entire world turned into a mind flayer, including me. And I was trying to stop it, but uh, I couldn't beat the mind flayer. So I became a mind flayer. So then I tried to beat the mind flayers as a mind flayer, and they knew I was a rogue mind flayer. And uh, they were coming for me, and I kept trying to fly, fly away. And then I found the ultra mutated evil mind flayers. And like I said, I've been watching Buffy too. So this ultra really gross mutated mind flayer was Angel. <laughs> and my mind flayer pal was like, yeah, you remember Angel mutated? And I was like, oh yeah, I totally forgot. And I was like, we need to kill him <laughs> because he was making more mutated mind flayers. There were like 30 of them. And I was like, these are super ultra dangerous because they were like zombie, gross, drooling. And they didn't even look like mind flayers. So I, I don't even know what it was. Um, so I was like, we got to kill these guys. But the leader mind flayer that turned the entire world into mind flayers was following me because he was looking for me. And he, he found the mutated mind flayer. And I knew, because I was a mind flayer, that he wanted the creepy mind flayer to make all the mind flares into those types of mind flares. And I was like, no, and I had so many issues to deal with now. And I was trying to like kill the evil angel mind flare while dodging the leader mind flare dude. It was so, and then I had my alarm going off every 10 minutes for an hour and a half because I refused to get up, but I also refused to turn off my alarm. So I was like, I need to wake up at some point. So my, my dream just kept getting interrupted, but I'd go right back into it. Anyway, that was my morning. Hey, Resto. What? It's a it's Pikachu. Hi, Dr. Miss Lizzie. How you doing? So that's what I uh, that's what I dealt with this morning. I finally got up and I was like, all right, I'm enough of this mind flare shit. This is a no win dream. I don't like it. I haven't played it since I beat it. So it's been it's been months and months. I haven't I haven't touched it. I did immediately start a new game after I beat it, but then I stopped because like, no, 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 I need to actually be productive in my life again. So I left alone, but it was a dirge playthrough and I was like, I, I do think about it and I'm like, I kind of want to get back to that, you know. Hi, Disdain, how you doing? Thank you for lurking, Resto. Yeah, I'm not playing it enough. Yeah. It's a really good game. My Twitter feed definitely has a lot of Baldur's Gate stuff pop up, so it's, it is always on my mind. All right, I need to look at this for a minute. Yeah, that was my dream this morning. It was just insane. I mean, and I, I just, I 
summed it for you guys. There was a lot going on. There was like espionage. I was bu breaking into buildings at one point. At one point, I wasn't even a mind flayer anymore. I was so happy, but then I turned back into one. Oh, anyway. All right, so. If you're like, wow, mold making's really boring. Yes. Yes, it is, but it's important to do it right because if you don't, you end up making so much more work for yourself. All right. I can make a. Tires hex work is crazy. I'm sorry. I hope you get some rest. I'm doing good. I'm hanging in there. My, uh, Sorry, that's loud. Uh, I got over the flu. I'm still getting over the flu, but also my next door neighbors, uh, literally next door, we're in the same hallway, um, refurnished their floor over a week ago. And the polyurethane smell has been wafting into everyone else's place, which shocks, sucked because we could smell it. And then every time I turn on the stove, because we have a gas stove, it mixes with the fumes that are still in here that I can't smell, but now I smell them because the fire or the gas, something mixes with them and makes this terrible, like, kerosene smell. So I have to keep opening the windows in our, like, negative degree to 30 degree weather. It's a whole thing. Anyway, <clears throat> I think it's making my cough and stuff a little worse because I'm usually not this bad off. Uh, can I pay you to make an appointment for you? No. No, I can't. I can't even make appointments. I don't like doing it. What you gotta make an appointment for? Do it online. There's always online op options. Also, I played some more Mario Wonder. I did literally everything. I perfected or whatever. I got, I completed everything in every single level except for the final, last, to my knowledge, level in the special world. I haven't done that one yet. And uh, then I will have 100%ed the game. You guys didn't miss much, it was just me. I think there was like two levels you haven't seen and it was just me running around trying to beat stuff. So. And tomorrow will be more Super Mario RPG. Unless like everybody hates it and they're like, we don't, none of us want to watch this, then I'll just switch to something else. But you know, yeah, let me know. No, I can't. I can't do it. I literally have Crow sometimes call to make appointments for me because he's he knows I won't do it. He's just, he's done it like twice and he's so irritated when he does it. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I just really don't want to talk. I don't like doing it. I'm getting better, though. Oh, hi, Antras. Is that a pal? Yes, this is Poopachu. He eats your soul. And when he does, he gets one ear. What's your? Oh yeah. Anyway. How much you get curry? <laughs> He's not here. He won't. Buy, he won't be home all day. Oh man. You know what? I should tell him to make that into like a side business. All right. How does this look like for a mold? We'll do this. We'll get. I'll put a little stick right. This is terrible. No, I can do it. Hold on, I gotta think some more. This foot's gonna be a problem, I know it. What if I put a little little one right here? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Alright, I've got the best idea. Blood work stuff? Like yearly blood work stuff where you're they're like here are your vitamin levels. Here's your cholesterol. Agitech, why is your cholesterol so high? What do you eat? Meat and dairy. Oh, okay, don't do that. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> no. I'll, uh... Do it the good old-fashioned way. Just add an extra hole. Plus other stuff? Okay. I can't tell if I'm warm or cold, sorry. 
for anemia for like five years or something. But before I got insurance, I didn't even know what blood work was. I mean, I know what blood work is, but I, I didn't know what it... I didn't know it was a thing, you know what I mean? <clears throat> All right, I need little sticks. That's too short. Yeah, it's a 1.5 shirt type of day. You know how it goes. <laughs> you know. The nice thing about, I guess, opening the window to air everything out is I'm getting used to, like, the super frigid temperatures. Wow! I forgot I have. I forgot to change that. OJ, thank you for gifting us up to this tin. Thank you, thank you. It's not normal to sleep nine hours every night and have no energy. Yeah, I... I don't know how I fixed that, and I haven't quite 100% fixed that, but yeah, I feel you. Thank you, I drew it! Me! I was trying to simplify some of the alerts, so like, subs are the happy jumping one, gift subs is that... I did something else, I don't remember. I, I think part of what I have is, yeah, just adultitis. You just don't feel rested. But, uh... What was it that was making me so tired? I don't know. Yes, I saw the payout thing from Twitch! I thought that was pretty- that was- Hold on. Talk about that in just a second once I figure out what the hell I'm doing. Oh, maybe if I lay it like this? You know what? Good enough. The th you know, yeah, that's what it was. Thank you. If it doesn't bother me anymore, I just forget about it. Yes, it was the sleeping pills that were making me completely 100 million percent lethargic. That's what it was. Thank you. And yeah, I saw the uh, I saw the Twitch thing. So basically, it's not just for partners; it's for affiliates too. You can get a sixty forty split if you have uh, one hundred subs or sub points. I don't know; they call them special points, but basically a hundred subs for uh, three months in a row. Then you switch to the sixty forty. Uh, Prime does not count. I think they said was it Prime that didn't count? I think it was like Prime and gift subs don't count. So it has to be 100 unique people. <coughs> Excuse me. So while I was like, whoa, neat. It doesn't apply to me. But it's good for other people and I'm glad about it. Well, yeah, the gift subs thing is also for the partner plus when it was originally just called the partner plus program. Two twenty-five. I know that they said they adjusted Prime for everybody. That's and then Twitch laid off thirty percent of their company, and they're like, "We don't make any money." And I'm like, "Then why are you doing these crazy split? Like, what are you guys doing? Figure your shit out, jeez." What do, you, eBay, what do you mean eBay did the same thing? If I do that...
I don't understand. eBay has a set fee. They increase the amount they take out when you sell collectibles, which is terrible because what I have are collectibles besides jewelry. But that's that's it. They don't like they're not a streaming service. They're eBay, so. Are you talking about them cutting their workforce? Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, okay. Now I understand what you're saying. But to be fair, it seems like everyone is getting fired. You love this cursed Pikachu? <laughs> I swear he's cute when he's painted. <laughs> well, happy Curse Pikachu might eat your soul, but he'll thank you afterwards. I could just oh, that's fine. Hey Lur, how you doing? That's how I describe myself too. Looks cute when painted. Looks presentable when painted. I spent a good amount today painting my face. Also, it's just kind of fun to do makeup. Where I'm like, what does this do? The downside is like when I put lip stuff on, all the lip stuff I got, which I thought was like cool toned, it is not cool toned and it all runs orange on me. <laughs> Excuse me. OJ, thank you for gifting this to Rulu. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, I got distracted. That's, this is not, these are not. No, no, no. Actually, all right. Oh. Oh. Ooh, thank you for gifting us up to Neon Coffee Cat. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you for the belated birthday. I appreciate it. My birthday was uh, January 17th, so uh, liter literally a week ago. Yeah, one week ago. If I'm feeling this, right, it's going blub, 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 blub. When's your birthday? Feeling, 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 feeling. Oh, here's the problem. This arm will never fill because. What was I thinking? Oh, I'll figure it out. Oh, the ninth? Well, happy belated to you, too.
All right, crazy arm. I could put a hole for the fingers here too. No, because then all the fingers need a hole. What am I? What? I forgot about this arm. <laughs> Shit. Oh, all right. Oh, I've committed to this. We're doing it. I'm making a crazy mold. All right, foot. Is your boyfriend, your 10th anniversary on Valentine's Day? Oh, that's so nice. Congrats. Are you going to do anything? As far as you can tell, the gift subs do not count. They do not count. I, it literally says it does not count. You show me where it says it does count. Then I, I'll, I'll agree with you, but I, I swear it says it does not count. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Oh, couple massage, have a really nice date night. We are mostly chilled, nice. Oh, massage would be nice. Ah, shit. <laughs> you know, uh, honestly, I wouldn't actually celebrate on Valentine's Day. Everything's packed and people are not always in the best moods. All right. We got to fix these fingies. You tried dating recently? You're too shy for it? <laughs> it's not that I was being shy, but you still, you do have to be a little assertive. I never really went dating. I just wasn't into that shit. Like on dates. I just picked the person. I was like, I like you. You like me. And sometimes we're like, yes. I'm like, OK, let's let's be together. And that was that was it. Yeah, I feel you. All right, fingies go this way, and that way I have a way to fill up this hand. Now, if I thought of this, I don't know his thumb's going to be a problem. Whatever. What the? Hold on, I got to think about this mold. Oh, you're right. So I went to, I went to the Partner Plus page to check up on any extra stuff they didn't list. And that there it said Partner Plus for like the 70-30 split, you can't have gift subs. But, okay, you're right. You are right. I concede. You are right. I am wrong. <clears throat> Dating apps are rough.
You like to be forward like that? You just want to see if you like the person as a friend first, so... Yeah, everyone, like, I, I knew first, basically. So it wasn't just like, hello, strange person. Date me. All right. This is the stream where I stare at Creepy Pikachu for a while. Maybe I... No, no. I'm not being defeated by my own bad decisions. Let's go. Oh my god, that's so many gifts. I can't even think. I don't think about it. Jesus. <sighs> Can you imagine me walking up to someone with that murder? <laughs> my murder walk and be like, you, you're dating me now. <laughs> Oh my god, that'd be so insane. It'd be funny though. I think it would scare a lot of people. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I've never been like that into dating. I had my first long term, which was like a year or two uh, at the end of high school. And we were friends for a long time, so it just kind of evolved naturally. Also, it helped that I knew he had a crush on me for like three years. <laughs> so I was like, oh, you know what? Now I'm feeling it. Let's date. And then the second one, I didn't really know, but I just sparks flew. And I was like, I like this one. And we hung out for a bit. And then it just kind of naturally evolved or devolved into dating. And we were together for like two, two and a half years or something. This is not like long, long term, but it's still long, right? And then uh, after that one, I was like, I hate dating. Men are absolute garbage. I never want to date again. So then I was single for 10 years and it was fabulous. I was so happy. Uh, and then I met Crow and then he was the worst person to ever try to date because he didn't want to date. And uh, I will never, ever let him live it down because he was absolutely the worst. Just I don't even know why I stayed. But uh, but now we've been together for about like four years and uh well this one's my favorite so far <laughs> not like jojo are you approaching me but said are you dating me yes no i can't lean back because i hurt my back last week but pretend i do a mean lean while i do that you can't deal with dating, you just want to wake up next to someone like we've been together for five years? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> Anything over a year's long term? Okay. Well, then technically, I had my first boyfriend in the first grade, and we dated for seven years. And by dating, it was, I would just say he's my boyfriend, and then I'd punch him a little bit. When he actually wanted to like start dating for real, for real, like in the seventh grade, like he started wanting to kiss and stuff. And I, I was just, I was a tomboy and I was definitely not like into that shit at the time. And I was like, no, your breath stinks. I don't want to do that. So I broke up with him. <laughs> anyway, that was, uh, that was my first dating story. Technically I dated two people in the first grade. I was collecting boys like Pokemon, except it was just two of them. So, it's good old John and Tyler. And they would fight. They'd fight each other for me, kind of. They're not really. Except I think I remember hearing, like, Tyler tried to drown John once in, in the pool. And I was like, I can't. That's actually, that's what they, somebody told me that. It was like in the third or fourth grade. And I was like, I can't date someone who's going to murder someone else. So I broke up with Tyler then. <laughs> Uh, anyway, it was funny for me. You want to judge your massive Fallout collection? Maybe you find someone who also either has a Fallout collection or is a collector. Hmm? 2D men are hotter. Yeah, 2D men are 
Perfect, because you can make them whatever you want them to be. Oh boy, okay. <clears throat> anyway, that's my that's my story. And then I've told this story before. When I got to high school, my friend Greg from my old school asked me out. And uh, I was very unpopular in like what you would consider middle school. Because I was a big tomboy nerd, right? With crooked glasses because gymnastics, like gymnastics bent them. Anyway, but he was, we were hanging out. I played like worms at his house after school and whatnot. And he asked me out and I didn't know what to do because I'd never been like actually asked out legitimately. So I said yes. And then I never spoke to him again. <laughs> And uh, I f I'm sorry, Greg, I feel so bad. Anyway, I never talked to him again. And um, technically, we're still dating because we never broke up. So. I feel so bad. I didn't know what to do. I, I mean, I said yes. I didn't mean yes. I was just I didn't want to be mean. <laughs> I was like, yeah, OK, sure. And then I like I ran and I never. Oh, God. I feel. Oh, yeah. Feel free. You can post a link. Oh. So sorry, Greg. Anyway, hi, Tato. How are you? Hi, Della Robson. What's up, guys? <clears throat> and then I had a huge crush on one person. He wasn't interested in me. But then we did date for like two months over uh, summer vacation, going from uh, sophomore to junior year. But I was, again, so like shy and nervous and awkward just with in that aspect in friendship i was fine that uh it, it was it was no good and uh, then i heard he was gonna break up with me and i was like no one breaks up with me and so i called and i broke up with him first <laughs> and that was that so <clears throat> anyway really where you can post a link feel free I didn't want to be mean, abandons the guy. I was like 14, okay? I'm sorry. Alright. It was a doggo! Why am I looking at a doggo? Oh, is this loud? Oh, I should probably show you guys. I'm sorry, I forget to do this. Hi, puppy. Beautiful. Perfect. A plus. There we go. <laughs> that was me and my cats, too. Breaking up in the first was a good idea. It helps you get over it. I guess I just knew my ego wasn't going to let me. I was like, no. Mm -mm. You got a girl's number recently? This tater is now the Rizzler. Was it the girl with the face tattoo and the... I'm sorry. Tell me about it. Excuse me. It was a cat, though. Oh, it's so nice when you wake up and you got a big furry fluff ball. Sleeping and purring. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. Anyway. Hey, dragons, how are you? It is Professor Tato. Tato, Professor Tato, the, the Rizzler. Not the Playboy girl? Are you sure? Anyway, that's my, that's like, that's actually my entire dating history. That was it. Dating two boys at once in the first grade. The, <laughs> breaking up with one in the fourth and the other in the seventh. Collecting them like Pokemon. Then dating Greg and never breaking up with him. And then the one that I heard was going to break up with me. After dating for two months, I broke up with him first. Then 
long term, long term, ten years of nothing, crow, and that's it. That's my day. To, I, was, I, I am made to be a witch in the woods in my cabin with my cats, my potions, and maybe like a machine gun just in case. So. <clears throat> You can do it. Just write down what you have to say. That's what I do. <coughs> All right, so this is going to guarantee, hopefully, that each of these little fingies, because the mold's gonna be like this, will get resin in them. And then the last fingy I have to do is the thumb. So, and then I've got the two little bloopies here, which make sure resin gets poured into the toesies. And then I'll get the main ones here. Because this is flat, I can just sand it. That's not so bad. And then I'm Probably put a thing here, or should I put a thing here? I'll put a thing here to connect this to this so I have a resin flow here. All right, I gotta do that now or I'll forget. She asked you to tell her stories of students cheating, so you told her some and then you were like, oh, actually, maybe you can help me cheat at this one math problem. It says, what's your number? I can't, oh my God. Oh my God. I have to read this out loud. Oh, actually, maybe you can help me cheat at this one math problem. It says, what's your number? I can't quite figure it out. That's, I don't know how, yeah, I like it. That's terrible, but I like it. Oh my God. It worked, yeah. That was pretty good, that was, all right. Maybe I'm easy to please or impress, but okay. That was not bad, that was not bad. Yeah. This association and acting skills, that's how you make phone calls and schedule appointments, maybe other couple. <laughs> I actually, so before, my issue is I, it was all doctor stuff or medical related stuff to, you know, like make a doctor's appointment, make a, a dentist appointment. And I never ever did that. So I didn't, and I never had insurance. So this was all question marks and I didn't know what to do, what to say. I, I just had, I couldn't do it. I had no knowledge, couldn't do it. That was basically it. And I've done it enough and I've seen Crow do it a few times to be like, okay, these are the things they're going to ask. I think I can do it. So then I start writing stuff down and I have like no cards. I'm like, if they ask what my insurance is, this is what it is. If they ask this, this is what it is. So I have all the notes now when I make a call and I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And I'm like, I know what a referral is now. I had no idea what that was. Oh, it was so bad. That's why I didn't want to do it. I had no knowledge. And then I just sounded like a, a moron on the phone freaking out where I'm like, uh, 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 uh. I don't know, <laughs> you know, oh. Anyway. You had to call so many doctor's office. One of the, yeah, so because you understand like what they're going to ask or what they need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just see, I had no idea. Like I legitimately didn't know what a referral was. I didn't understand how that worked. I thought you just go to the doctor and they do everything. No, a doctor is like, Google, you go to Dr. Google, they give you like, maybe they can answer your question and fix you, but they're probably just like, oh no, you gotta go to this specialist website, you know, like I'm relating to Google, you gotta go there. And so then they send you that way. Like, I just didn't understand how the flow worked. And now I do. Anyway, Crow gets mad when I call doctors um, Google, but it makes sense to me, so. Your dentist pushes you to make your next appointment? Yes. Yes, my dentist does do that. The the thing that I have to do is I call them the cancel it. <laughs> they're always like, why? I'm like, I only need one teeth cleaning a year. I'm all good, thank you. And they're like, but you should. I'm like, no, no, I hate it. I hate teeth cleaning. I don't, I'll have dirty teeth. Goodbye. Oh, make the camera stabilized? Uh, let me see. Yeah, there's... Oh shit. Put 
Thank you. Thank you, OJ. Congrats. There you go. See? You didn't have to do anything. Let's see. Can I make you stabilize? What can I attach you to? Do I have anything to attach you to? Oh, I have an ad coming up right now. I'll play with my camera while you guys uh, 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 do words on stream. Hold on. Yeah, I'll be right back. Sorry.
was on here twice. Oops. All right. All right, uh, I'm working on fixing the camera issue. Oh, it just beeped. Hold on. See, the problem is, is I have it on a bendy arm. Well, it's a big camera, so it shakes with the table. I don't know any other camera arm that works because they're all so stiff. And then I don't have, um, I, <laughs> I have a lot of shit everywhere and I just want to be able to hide some of the stuff. Oh, this is really warm. Oh, hold, oh, hold on. <laughs> Floor standing arm? I don't know if there's any room. Yes, because I'm not shaking it. Also, I put, <laughs> I put I put a giant thing of resin under here, so it's kind of holding it while I work on uh, this. Don't worry, I have methods. I microwave this a little too hot, so. Obviously what you do is you spread it around and then try not to burn your hands. Anyway, this stuff's a lot harder when it cools down than the monster clay, so that's why I'm using this. You're a, you are a princess. But like, I had an arm for this camera. The camera was too heavy, so then the arm wouldn't stay up. So then I was like, well, I already bought this. So I puttied it and that kind of wore, it was just a whole mess. So then I went back to the bendy arm, but then I have like a mic arm over here. And then like, it's just all, there's arms everywhere. There's so many arms. And I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to be clean and like, no, I don't know what I'm trying. It's a mess. All right. So I would never use this specific one for like molding for Pikachu because I would never get them out. Limbs everywhere. They're not, my guns are pretty bad right now. I need to work out. I got sick though, so. Hi, Clay Jeff. It looks like I'm performing an autopsy on Pikachu. It is a Wednesday. It is. I'm also doing a... I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I'm figuring it out. But make do this again? Yeah, see I lost all my definition. And I've got my bat wings now because I <laughs> kind of lose some weight, but whatever. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. Oh, Shaking on the table reminds you of a video of an earthquake capture from underwater, and if you didn't have a fear of water, earthquakes before you probably will after. Yeah, I'll fix the camera. I'll fix it, goddammit. And if I can't, I'll just, I'll figure it out. I was just being lazy. If I'm being honest. I was just being lazy, and I wasn't worried about, like, the bouncing, because I wasn't, I wasn't watching it. So. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> You're still getting, giggling over the JoJo, will you date me? That's funny. I couldn't sleep again last night, so I was on Reddit and I was reading like... It was like a Reddit thread on worst case scenarios of things that might happen, like like Yellowstone, you know, blowing up. And um, I don't suggest doing that before you go to bed, because boy, I went to bed real sad. Maybe that's why I had that really weird, uh, Mind Flayer dream. So this stuff... Kind of weird and crumbly. 
yet it has been pretty depressing. I like reading the uh, the best of where it compiles like usually it's like, am I the asshole? Blah, 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 blah. And then there's like follow ups of like whatever the hell they were talking about. And even though I know they're probably mostly fake, it's still fun to read. Evan chat for you. <laughs> no. But yeah. So I, I read the best of to, to catch up on whatever the latest story is. And I found this YouTuber, some redhead that uh, goes through a lot of the Reddit stuff that I read. So I put her on. But I hate her voice so much. She is so grating to listen to. And she gives her opinions on stuff, and then because I find it graded, I'm just like, shut up, I don't care, just read the f story! So, that that was that didn't work out for me. Yeah, her! You knew! I was trying to be nice! I don't know who she is! I was just like, why? Okay. I was like, that's convenient, so we'll just read them to me. Perfect! But no, then she keeps talking about shit, and I'm, and I'm like, no, stop it. Stop. I... I... <laughs> I listened to her because she's really recommended on my YouTube page because I watched her a few times and then I was like well whatever it's familiar now it somehow also makes me angry whatever I guess I'll just watch it anyway so sometimes and, I, and like if I find things that annoy me for no real reason sometimes I will make myself be annoyed and go through them to get over being annoyed so like I make myself like resistant to it it's just a thing I do. So. All right. Here's my big gray stick. Is it tall enough? I might need more big gray stick. No, that's not why I became your friend. I became your friend because I became your friend. I decided I wanted to be friends. <laughs> that That's it. Yeah, I know what it is. It's very, uh, yes. But, you know, it'll be pretty solid. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Hold on. <laughs> oh, I'm real mature. Look, I'm trying... <laughs> I'm trying to make something, all right? I'm fixing an issue over here, people. All right. Is this gonna work? All right. All right, hold up. I need more gray stuff. I need another triangle of gray stuff. And then I can get back to scary people too. Well, it's kind of warm, so it needs to like, it needs to get cold. This is, this is not what I expected to be doing, but <laughs> look, I have an issue and this could be the solution. I'll find out, you know, just gotta wait a minute cause I'm, <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, microwaving more gray stuff. Remind myself I need to do this, and then I need to put a, another doobly over here. Okay, for the, the fingy, the last fingy. I think the rest should be all okay. Oh, it beeped.
<laughs> like, you guys get to watch all my processes. Alright. I'll see this one. girl whose number you got asked you if you wanted to see some cleavage and then sent you a picture of a rock? Seeing the kimono peach, any plans on making the Showtime costumes? The kimono peach was a commission. So, no. Not at the moment. When I eventually open up for commissions again, if someone wants to uh, commission it, Cleavage is a type of rock breaking, is it? I had no idea. Maybe... Did I overcook you? I'm sorry, bro. Creepy Pikachu. Splitting of rocks or crystals and a preferred plane or direction. Okay. Alright. Use these sculptor hands to... I, it, it's going to wiggle a bit. I am sorry. This is to help f fix the wiggling. There we go. All right. Yes. How tall do I need it to be? Taller. <sighs> it's okay. All right. All right. I never thought I'd be sculpting a great poop log on stream, but this is what I'm doing. This is what's happening. All right. Give it a flared base. Because... Or we'll have scary music while I do this. <laughs> All right. If I had, <laughs> if I gave it balls or a head, yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I would. <laughs> Hold on. It's still not enough. Why do I need so much? I need more gray. I need more gray. Hold on. I'll be right back. one minute <laughs> look this is <laughs> this is the help my camera guys you wonder how I fix stuff this is how I fix stuff I use my art supplies and then I I fix stuff in a minute I'll have more gray and then I can make it longer and then I can sort of this is not gonna work but I'm gonna try and I'll form it to the camera and then have it like and then it, it won't it won't move oh god anyway so how are you guys <clears throat> i didn't mean to so my camera is on an arm so this is the camera this is the arm that's why it keeps shaking so the log, the log is going to be like right here to give it something so it doesn't see it. That's the idea. <laughs> in theory. In theory. And then since it's just a big solid when it cools down, clay thing, I could just take this 
and put it away. So this is this guys, you guys are dirty. This is just a big gray log. That's all it is. OK, Get your minds out of the gutter. So anyway, for real, that's what it is. I want to see if that helps. It's not like this is if it doesn't work, I could just <laughs> chop it up and remelt it and use it for <laughs> for, <laughs> for uh, actual art. But I have a whole bunch of this. I have like five pounds of this gray stuff. So it's not like, yeah, it's more stabilization. So, you know, it's not like I'm really wasting anything. I just got to portion these out properly, you know. Uh, I don't know if I, maybe I make the base bigger. You know, like, do you think it should be bigger like this? I don't know. How's that look? OK, I'm going to get banned, I swear to God. All right, anyway. <laughs> Let me just get. <laughs> Let me just make it a little longer. Uh... Yeah, I mean it. It well, those are really big. All right. Now for real, for real. Sorry, it's you're gonna have to see what I'm doing on this camera now, because now I think so. It can't be <laughs> can't be skinny. I need it to actually support. This is how you do this, right? <laughs> yeah! Okay, it's long enough. All right, so then we connect. <laughs> I'm sweating so much. Oh, yeah, we added more. <laughs> yeah, we were added more to the tip here. So we got to let this kind of cool down now. I suppose I could put it in the refrigerator. <laughs> You need to make the base a bit bigger. Please don't move. Stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> all right. So now we got. All right. Now we got it. Oh God. Anyway. Uh. I'm gonna move this. Stay. I'm gonna move the thing that was holding it, which by the way, was this. This is what was holding the camera. Yeah, it, it likes me, it's nice and warm. It's gonna be wibbly wobbly for a good minute, so just uh, bear with me. <laughs> oh. No comment. That's all I'm saying. All right. I got some skills. Besides art. All right. <laughs> oh, God. All right. I'm trying to mold it to the camera. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So here it is. Here's the camera part. Now I'm going to put my other solution back here for now. Come on. OK. <laughs> now this goes in the refrigerator. Say goodbye to happy, uh, happy elephant peen man. All right. Crow comes home and sees the elephant dick in the refrigerator. Okay. Because it's just standing up in there. <laughs> I, I, 
like it, it's gotta stand up. I'm, I'm sco it's a thing, okay? All right, back to Soulless Pikachu. All right, though sh there should be. If I don't, there should be less, less bouncing around. I'll try to be good. All right. Man, streaming's tough, guys. <laughs> well, you gotta account for. There we go, see? Oh, God. Oh. All right, hold on. Now I gotta melt my, my pudding. There we go. Anyway, so let that be a lesson that if you need to fix something and you're an artist, just use your art supplies. Your extra art supplies. Okay. Uh, I've completely lost track of what I was doing. Pikachu. <clears throat> oh, don't, don't you fall off. How would I sit up straight? <laughs> I'm just saying, whatever works, works. I'd show you what my setup looks like, but my camera is on my setup, so. Um. Oh, it's super bright over there, sorry. There you go, Pikachu. I didn't think it was gonna take me this long to make Pikachu. Thank you for following. Hey, Cora, thank you for following. All right, so we do this. It looks like, uh, mm, <laughs> it is a horrible mess. Uh, it. Probably looks similar-ish. I can take a picture now if you guys want to see. <laughs> oh, someone messaged me. Hold on. Spam. That is spam. Thank you. I just want to. No, I don't want to back. Just let me see my goddamn photo. Jeez. Rotate. Anything important in here? 
There we go. Ta-da! That's my camera. I got it from Amazon. There was a deal with like the camera and like it came with a lens. Long time ago. It's like double the price now. Uh, because I wanted to use a good camera. OJ helped me get this. Props to you, OJ. But, um, I was looking up cameras that were good for streaming. And this is the Sony A6000 kept coming up, so I was like, okay. I tried to ask a few streamers that I, I had been watching if they liked the camera. Actually, I asked one streamer. It was, uh, what's her name? Khaleesi BB or whatever, because she used the camera and it looked really nice. And I was like, you know, do you like this camera? And she never responded to me. And I was like, bitch. But uh, I got it anyway. And uh, it's a very good camera. It takes great video. So. Please go into the spot now. Thank you. Good enough. I will cut out any stuff I need to. But yeah, good camera. Amazon. Got it on Amazon. It was like a... Actually, both cameras I got. This one and... Um, my... This I got a long time ago. My Nikon. 30, it was like D3200. This is what I take all my like product photos with. I got this from Best Buy online a long time ago. It came in a whole set. It was this. A bag. This lens, a different lens that I never use, uh, and something else. So, it's a good camera. Has trouble taking uh, purples, so I always have to color correct that. Oh yeah. Well, this is the first, uh, what kind of camera is this? DSL? DSLR? I don't know, whatever. First kind of camera like that I ever got. So. I very much enjoyed the upgrade. Okay. Super glue this to... Your finger, yes. That's fine. I'll just sand. Oh God! Just sand you in place, please. Please stay. Okay. Now I have all the fingers accounted for. Pikachu's gonna be molded like this, or cast like this. Oh, the lights are terrible. Uh, so I need to be able to get his fingers, the resin in his fingers, because if I fill him up, he's only gonna probably fill up to here. Anyway, it won't get all filled up, so I'm just making connections. Now I just have to do to the bottom of his feeties and then let it make sure it's all dry because silicone will not react nicely to super glue, as in it will not cure. And then uh, and then I can uh, start can mold them. Anyway, this was supposed to just take like twenty minutes, but instead it's taken an hour, almost two hours. Happens, but I didn't account for the this arm when I was doing it last night. Uh. Yeah, and the and the twenty minute uh, camera help fixing session. Answer when you come back. Oh, looser resin? No, no, it's not. It's not about how loose the resin is. It's just the fact that it won't 
if you pour something if you pour liquid in here it's just it's not going to fill up properly you'll have bubbles at the fingers i'll answer that again when you come back and see but that's that's why No, that's going to shake the desk. You feel fine? You'll crash eventually. And when you do, you should make sure you get some rest then. Okay. After stream ends. I'll be streaming for a few more hours. go everything else should work I'm assuming anything shorter Getting to the point where I have to re dye my hair soon again. Damn it. Having gray hair sucks. Well, it sucks because I did have gray hair at 22. I had gray hair at 18. But, you know, it was like one gray hair. <laughs> I even have, I, I have a gray eyelash that I haven't pulled out. It's right here. I'm like, oh. No, I, I am not 22. That'd be nice, though. I'd like to be 22 again in age and body not in not anything else though how can you be a witch in the woods without gray hair i will i no. i want to fool people i'll have the gray hair but I'll, I'll cast a spell to make it like blue or something you know Twenty-two was a weird time. Twenty-two was uneventful. I don't remember anything about twenty-two. There we go. Pika! Pikachu! Yes. Pika Pika Pika? I think maybe I should, uh... this
Okay, finally. Finally. Now I can do the fun part. Where I, uh... Make holes and stuff. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I can do Legos. Should I just do Legos? Eh. I found a bunch of Lego uh, floors like this at a thrift store. Just They just had them packaged up and I was like, Perfect. Sure. You're very angry, very sad, and still learning to be more sad and angry at the time. Jeez. I was working two jobs. I was working two jobs, living with really dirty roommates, and, uh, that's all I remember. Drinking a whole bunch. <laughs> you went to an antique mall recently, saw a big ass cigarette ad for 15. You almost bought it because. How much are cigarettes? Holy shit. My dating life conversation? <laughs> God, Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Should I just have like a random one? Hang on your wall when you don't smoke. The irony. I used to have a, it wasn't mine, it was my roommate's. It was like a pick up after your pet sign that she stole and I had it over the litter box. So I'm making divots and all this kind of stuff because it helps keep the mold together each piece together and uh, you know I, I want to maybe I should do this way after you turn 23 the thing that people didn't like you then but fortunately that wasn't the case 23 was rough for me a lot of terrible shit went down well, not terrible, but not good. And also, my grandfather died. So that was the cherry on top. They're like $20 a pack? Are they really? Oh my god. Well, you know. There was police drama that I can't talk about. But I don't want to talk about. And then there was personal drama that I also don't want to talk about. And then my roommate was having a complete mental breakdown because of the police drama. So, and then I had to take care of everything in the apartment because of this police drama, which was stressful for me too. So that was months of dealing with police and courts and stuff like that. And then uh, the person I was dating, we went on a break because our relationship was going to shit. I mean, it was already really shit. So that was actually kind of a good part. But anyway, bad stuff happened there. And then my grandfather was dying and then he died near the end of the year. And it was just 23 was rough. So that was a rough year. I remember that one. <laughs> Excuse me. Using wires, vents and the molds as big brain can bend them. Yep, yep. Basically what I'm going to do here is so when it gets molded, I'm just going to like see where this is. I'm just going to cut it off so I just have little holes and then you can just pull them out when you cast it. Or if you have to, you can just like cut into it. Anyway, this stuff is not, it's not too tough. I just need it to work. So this is what I'm doing for now. 
Everyone remembers the pain. It's a biological evolution kind of thing. So you, you know, you don't... You don't deal with it again. But there's a difference between remembering the pain and still experiencing it when you remember it. I don't really experience it anymore. It's just like, oh yeah, that really sucked. That was not fun. Excuse me. Wah, 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 wah. What is the clear tube? Acrylic. It's just acrylic. Acrylic tube that I cut. It's bigger than wire. So that's why I'm using it. This is where I'm going to be pouring the main stuff. Oh man, I usually do this when this, this is a li little like more flexible. You are getting surgery? You said you had to. They were figuring out between surgery, surgery and uh, blasting it with like sound waves. So you actually have to get surgery? When are you going to do that? Little dots for everybody. Boop, 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 boop. Yes. Look at that. Look how good. Beautiful. This is a beautiful one. You gotta get a top tube up your pee pee. I'm sorry. That doesn't sound very good. But you said they will, what? Like, they'll. Will they knock you out for that? Friday? Okay. Because your battery's behind the kidney. Okay, yeah, you were saying that something about basically your battery was in the way. All right, this is sideways. We don't want sideways. Oh, yeah, I broke the toe. That's what I need to fix right now. Hold on. <laughs> They'll knock you out? Okay. Toe is over here. Ah. All right. Let me fix this, and then, and then I'm good to go. They said that your wreath... Your... your if something will swell shut, is it your urethra? Yes, so they have to put a stint to keep it open while it heals. Well, thank you. That's no good. Potato, I, uh, I feel for you. Can you stop having medical problems? You ever think about that? Okay. Pikachu's done. Now I can work on the ears and the tail, and then eventually I can, uh, I can mold it all, hopefully. <laughs> After that, you have to pull a string from the stint out of your pee, -pee to pull a... I had my tubes removed, but uh, all I did was go to sleep and then I wake, woke up and they were gone, so. Mine was easier. Yeah, baby, you must have picked Ultra Nightmare Mode. Your soul is just like, you know what I want to have for reincarnation? I want a lot of medical issues. I think that'd be fun to experience. Let's see what that's like. So this gets to be safe. Over here, please. Yeah, true. Maybe that's what the, the trade-off. You could get big brain, but big pain, right? Big pain for big brain. You min max your character sheet. Do you think I can do this? Maybe this works? Oh, that's too close. 
Okay. We'll do... How do I want to do the tail? You don't think you'll ever have children? Why not? You can have kids whenever you want, technically. I'm trying to picture how I'm supposed to... Hole here and a hole here. And then... Okay, I know what I'm doing. Hey, no. <laughs> no. No, no, you cannot. Oh, okay. My bad. Well, I can't either, but that was... That's my choice. I got my cool scar, though. It's in my belly button. You guys can't see it, I guess. And then I have two, like, right here. Recovery wasn't so bad. I did end up taking like basically two weeks off just to heal. You got belly button scar too? Twinsies! Like the first... I got it on a Monday. It was a Thursday is when I started walking around. Now to be fair, Crow was just like, you have to be in bed. You cannot leave. I was like, okay, fine. By, the by Thursday, I was bored and I was like, I have to do something. So I tried to hobble around a bit. And then the second week was just me being just gently doing things because uh, I don't know, I have a sensitive body and things like to be inflamed and sore for a while. And I already know that, so. <clears throat> oh, okay. That makes more sense. Disdain. <laughs> I have an ad break again? Why didn't I just have an ad? What the hell? Takes so long. The you know what the problem was? So I got there for surgery and like I was not super nervous, but my body was nervous because when they were like, okay, we need to take a pee in a cup, see if you're pregnant, I was like, yeah, okay, I'm not, but sure. When I was peeing in the cup, I was like, oh god, I gotta poop. So I had to like spend five minutes pooping too. I was like, I gotta do it now, or I'm not gonna be able to do it for like a week. So and then uh, after surgery, I was like, oh, God, I still I still have to, but I can't. So I couldn't poop for like five days. It was like three days. And uh, it was rough because, you know, you got holes in your abdomen. And it was, I was on like painkillers and uh, stool softeners. But man, once the first final, the first poop after that, when I find oh, it was glorious. I felt so much better. The main thing that I really didn't like was they pump your abdomen full of CO2 gas, I think is what it was. And uh, because they need to get to the organs that they need to get to or the area, so you blow it up and everything kind of separates. Well, the, the gas has to get out of your body eventually. And I couldn't fart because I couldn't flex my abdomen without it hurting. So I was just full of gas and poop. And then like the gas, uh, the CO2 gas, like goes all over your body and you can get shoulder pain from it so I had like shoulder pain and I was like oh bleh. it was just oh it was so, yes I didn't even read your commentator and I just started talking about it yeah I had shoulder pain and it was just this weird like oh it was so unpleasant and I like I kept trying to fart as gently as possible but I was constipated so I couldn't really fart oh my god it was that was <laughs> that was like three days in bed where I'm like I just don't feel that oh god 
Oh, and when every time I fart, I was able to fart, I'd exclaim, I'm like, oh, I farted. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh my God. Anyway, I'm all better now. Hey, <laughs> Zarylis, how you doing? The 40s are treating me pretty much like the 30s, which, decent. Not, not too bad. I did catch the flu uh, right before my 40s. I guess my 30s wanted to give me a middle finger before I, on my way out. But, you know, other than that, I mean, how are you? I forgot, Tato, you can relate to, like, a lot of, like, the medical stuff that I'm talking about. But, man, that... And I'm glad I looked up because I, I I looked everything up before I did any of it. So I knew the air was going to give me shoulder pain because they didn't tell me. And I was like, man, this sucks. It's not good at all. On an even, so you can't wait till you're old so you're on an even playing field with everyone. Oh my gosh. And I remember when they woke me up from the anesthesia, I didn't, I, I remember, the, she's like, wake up, it's time to wake up now. And I was like, oh, sorry, I was dreaming. That's what I woke up and said. And she was talking about like, I forgot, I asked her like, my blood type's O positive, because that's what I found out. And she's like, yeah, you're the universal donor. And in my, like, I just remember like, no, that's O negative, right? She just looked at me like I was being an ass and I was like, Sorry, I'm just, I'm tired. I'm waking up. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> and then uh, I was going to puke because she was taking the the catheter out. And this, like, when I get a pinchy feeling, where's my arm? Like, right here, that needly pinchy feeling is what somehow triggers my nerve to make me, like, want to vomit. And I know that, so I, I could just, like, <sighs> and so she took a, an extraordinary long time to take that out. And she was, like, really, like, like gripping and I was like oh my god it pinches so much I'm going to puke I know it's gonna happen so when I sat down like I got up and I was like oh I need to sit down for a minute I'm gonna I'm gonna puke she put um a cotton ball with rubbing alcohol here and I was like oh that's rubbing alcohol she's like yeah and I'm like okay cool it didn't do anything because like I have I always have rubbing alcohol so it's not a smell that does anything for me but I didn't puke so that was nice Excuse me. You're okay just been going through stuff, hence your minimum presence? Well, no, no worries. I hope the stuff you go through is... It gets better. Or goes away, or whatever is the good solution for the stuff. You're always welcome here, just to chill out if you need to. And if not, that's fine. I'm not going anywhere. Pop in by whenever you feel that you want to. Ages don't form a part of your, your memory. Oh my god, my ad's starting soon, but real quick. So I have... You see this vein here? So I have a good vein right here, and this is where they always put the stuff in. Right here. But this time, because they asked what arm, I said, oh, this arm. I'm used to stuff going right here. She put it in this vein. Oh, it hurt so much. Oh my god. It was terrible. I was like, holy shit. Oh. All right, ad starting like right now. So I'm just going to switch over and then uh, I can talk about growth stuff again. Okay, okay.
There we go. <clears throat> okay. Good job, guys. Let me see what you guys were saying. This one hand that's awful because you feel the Catherine move. Yeah, I don't know. She put it in this vein and it hurts so bad. I was I I, I was actually shocked. I was like, woohoo! And I couldn't move the arm. I was like, I can't move this. Don't make me. You'll get better. You've been perking up more. Good. Thought I was closer to thirty. Oh no, thank you. Yeah, no, I'm forty. I just turned forty. Uh, so yes, I put the camera down. <laughs> That's what I did. I put the camera dong in. It's it's been dongified. It's so solid I can't bend it. I don't know if it's going to work out or not. So we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I need more like I just need my knees not to hit the desk. Hold on. Maybe. All right. So now we're making Pikachu's tail. There's not a lot of space right here, and that's a problem, so I need to fix that. I don't remember. Let's do that. Yes. So I need I need some space for the resin to go in, and I never remember to make enough space. Then I have problems. There we go. It's it's basically chocolate coffee milk. decaf all right so we'll make a little thing that goes here and then we'll glue a little loop right here so both get resin in them that should that should be good <coughs> it is so My friend OG just got this for um, Christmas or birthday, not last year, but actually like a year ago. It was one of those, uh, it was like a Japanese special Nintendo Korok mug. There's actually a, a Korok on the bottom here. Don't mind me. So there's a little Korok under here too. There you go. So cute. The mug was like 40 bucks and then it was like 20 bucks shipping. I remember because I desperately wanted it when I saw it, but I, I was like, I can't spend $60 for a mug. Um, cause it was imported from Japan. So Jess got it for me. Cause she's the one that showed me in the first place. She got it for me for, I think it was like my birthday or something. It was so sweet. And I was just like, oh my God, I was so happy. It's one of my favorite mugs. I love it so much. I love it so much that I didn't put it in the dishwasher for the longest time. I was like, I don't know if it'll hurt it. And one day I was like, I got it. I just like, I have to be able to dishwash this. And it, it's fine. And then actually yesterday, after having this for over a year, I was like, can I microwave this? So I put it in the microwave and I just sat there like ready. And it, I can microwave it too. So even better. Yeah, I hope you find it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Anyway. All right. 
So now we have a little more room. So we'll put like a little stick and then generally it's after I make the mold, I like I'll cut out a whole divot to like have a little reservoir for the resin you pour in and then you have some extra. So when it gets all compressed, the extra goes down too. If that makes any type of sense. It does to me. They're going for, oh my God, what, what, oh. What? I didn't spend it though. What are you doing? No. That's crazy. Thank you. Thank <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. No. I you missed did you miss the part where I didn't buy it? I didn't buy it. Thank you though. Oh my god. Well, Send it to Jess and be like, thank you for your gift. Here's me paying you back. Feels almost insulting. I would just buy her something cute instead. Anyway, thank you. God, I'm all nervous now. They're growing up 100 plus on eBay? Feels about right. Yeah. So if we do big one... We don't need big one. I don't need to go crazy. We can do a little one. That's that's perfectly the perfect size. <laughs> Buy another mug. Buy a mug and send it to this day? I could. I could do that. Send me a link for the mug. But yeah, every once in a while Nintendo releases just really super cute things. Now, if I wanted to make this easier on myself, I never ever do this. Hey, that's the that's basically the price it is. If you find one for 60, you're getting a deal because that's more or less what it costs. So. If I do this, right? You just sculpt the thing and then just have it as a I don't know why I haven't done that oh let's do it this way it might be worth it anyway I I love it I think it's the cutest thing ever I'm a big big fan of that the silly little mug Also, Zave, to answer your question about Pikachu, you asked about resin and stuff. So even if you... Let me zoom out. <laughs> looks so insane over here. Um, even I had, like, if I had... Pretend these weren't here, right? The, like, the little wires. So you pretend you're filling this with liquid. This will all fill up mostly easily, right? Because it's all pointed downward. This is pointed up. So even if you fill it up to here, you're not going to ever fully fill this properly. So you'll always have like air bubbles at the fingers. One way to fix that is just extend the fingers. Like I could make just the wires like half as long and that might help, maybe. But the other way is to just put basically another way to pour resin in here to make sure it fills up. So that's why I have all the wires here. So that hypothetically, it should work. Does it always work? No. no, no. Sometimes it doesn't work at all. And that's when you just fix it manually. Actually, you know what? From Pompeii. <laughs> yeah, it's creepy Pikachu. He won't be creepy later. Like I said, tomorrow I'll be playing more Super Mario RPG. So look forward to that.
good enough. All right, perfect. Let's not touch the Pikachu for now. Let's do this. Oh, did you guys want song requests? I wasn't... I wasn't paying attention to that. If most of you just want to chill while I, I do this and not worry about song requests, that's fine too. But I figured I'd offer it. So, I put Pal World on my Steam wishlist because it's like 30 bucks. And I was like, maybe I'll play it. Like, I know all the controversy surrounding it. Whatever. I'm a bad person. I kind of want to play it and, and see what it's like. But I was like, but I also don't want to spend money on it because it might just be like a, a one and done kind of thing. But then Leonidas gifted it to me. Thank you, Leonidas. I don't know if you're here. You're probably not here. I don't see you, but thank you. So I got it gifted to me. Uh, not last night, but the night before because I couldn't sleep. And so I checked my phone and I saw the email. So I actually do have Power World. And uh, I was figuring I would try it out. I didn't think I was going to do it on stream because I figure everybody's... That's like the thing everybody's playing. So I would just screw around on my own and see if I even liked it. But, uh... Yeah, I, I think I will. You're a stingy girl for games not on sale? Uh, yeah, I, I'm the same. <clears throat> Has anyone played it? Like, do you have opinions about it? Tell me about it. Tell me what you think. I would like to know, please. All your friends play it and they love it? You're not interested? That's fine. I don't know. It feels super wacky to me. But I, I'm a, like, I feel like maybe the novelty of it will wear off very fast. That was my one like thing where I was like, I don't know. Will I just get sick of this fast or will I enjoy it? There we go. See, and then this one gets poured in this way. So anything that sticks out, so I've got a vent hole essentially, but two pour, you know, get poured in here, get poured in here. So this sticks out this way, we'll definitely get resin in it, ideally. And I got a big, this is like a reservoir, so this is where the resin will sit. And now I just make One day I want to play uh, Illusion of Gaia in stream. I think that'd be fun. The game is so weird. The story is just everywhere. But there's just something about it I enjoy. I didn't know what it was until a few days ago where I was like, what is this? Let me actually look this up. And I was like, oh, okay. Interesting. You're really bad at treating yourself to things that aren't basic needs. You'd rather treat others. Oh, sorry, that's a lot now. Yeah, I've been trying to get better at it. See, what I consider a treat to myself is when I buy myself art stuff, right? Maybe it's like an art thing I don't really need, but maybe I need it. I'm being naughty and I'm treating myself. It's like, ooh, ooh, you know? People tell me that's not really like treating yourself, but to me, it feels like I'm treating myself. So I don't know. The other thing I treat myself with is like, I'll go to the store and be like, do I need a slice of tiramisu? I do. Yes, I do. I worked hard today. Those are my two ways I treat myself. I don't have any more Legos to stick in here, so we'll do it, uh, trying to find things that work. <clears throat> I 
can stick my my tooth in there. No, oh, you treat yourself. Like these were a treat to me. These are steel balls. They do not rust. And you could put them in your paint containers. So, you know. Help mix your paint. Oh, so nice. And since they don't rust, the paint doesn't get affected. But if you ever get them, you have to do the test. Put them in a, a thing of salt water overnight to make sure nothing happens to them, which is what I did. Oh! Jesus Christ. Seriously, shut up. Yeah, like crap, so... <laughs> so what I'm saying definitely matters. Thank you. Thank you for the pennies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You need a better job? What do you do? What's up? Yes, Dave? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna post. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it. I mean it with care. Sorry. I'll clarify. Anyway, these are great. Don't get them on the floor and vacuum them up though. It will, your vacuum will not like it. I haven't done it. I just know, I just know. So we put a bunch of holes. One here. <whistles> Slowly learning. Okay, I'm, look, I'm not knocking it. But I'm still gonna, I'm, you know, you set me up. I can't not take the bait. <laughs> oh, I updated the yay emo. I keep updating it because I'm like, I hate this. This is what it looks like now. I don't want to touch it anymore. It's happy. She's doing a thing. That's it. It's cute. If you guys hate it. Okay. Thank you. If you guys do not like it, though, you can say so. I can take constructive criticism. Telling me it's shit without telling me why is just being mean and that does not help me. Being like, oh, I like it, except I really don't like the green shirt. I wish your shirt was, you know, sparkles or something. I'd be like, okay, cool. Noted. You know, or she's jumping so fast, or I wish she jumped faster. I wish she looked like she was just freaking on 20 cups of like coffee jumping. And I'd be like, okay, noted. Stuff like that. Like I said, this helps your mold stay together and not move at all, because you don't want a mold that moves. Sometimes when I need my molds to like really not shift, I'll make like cardboard stuff for each, like a, uh, ah, like this. Hyper yay. <laughs> So I'll do something like this, so I can rubber band it without deforming the mold too much. Although I really shouldn't use this cardboard, I should use something more solid, but still, same idea. What is this? Is this Luna? Yes. This is me making a terrible mold. This is also me making a terrible mold. Isn't that 
Good. I like doing it too. It's fun, you know? Just gotta make sure that you don't have any like deformed stuff. The Lego's fun because it really, it's a Lego, so it actually like, it does lock in. Because then when I pour, I'll pour this, right? Mold stuff, turn it around, take all this shit off, take this off too, and then I'll fill in the, the gap. And then, uh, it becomes this nice locking mechanism. But you gotta put it in the clay a little bit, otherwise, uh, it's weird and floppy. And if you want to get, like, no, it's not a commission. Hi, mobile. Um, it was something I made like 10, 12 years ago, 15. I don't remember. It was a long time ago when I was learning to do resin. And uh, I found I found it recently. Like I knew it was always there, but I actually found it. And I was like, huh, I should. I should remold this. I think I have enough skills now to do this correctly. So, just became a little side thing I wanted to do. There we go. Power knowledge, yep. Knowing me, I'm gonna mess it up and be like, well, oops. But... But before this, I never even made, like, vent holes or, you know, Anything like that. It was just pour resin in, hope for the best. I also didn't have a pressure pot. So I did a lot of like the pour and slam method where you take each mold, you pour. Take each half of a mold, you pour the resin in, you slam it together and hope it, it works. You excited to see the cast? Me too. Yeah. I did, actually. I did, I did kind of get good at that. How much do the sculpting keycaps end up going for? They don't save the winning bit? No, that's not how that works. It's not like eBay. You just bid. There's certain sections, like time segments, where like... So the... The Charmander was available, actually, on my birthday, between like... 2 and 8 p.m. So within that time frame, on that day, if you gave, it was like a $25 donation to G or AGDQ, not, AG, not them, the, the Cancer Foundation, um, then you were entered to possibly win any of those prizes within that time segment. That's how it worked. So you can, you know, it, it wasn't like eBay or anything. But knock on wood, it worked out for me because I actually sold the other Charmander I had put up on Etsy and I was like, oh my god, I actually sold it. Other than that, I didn't get anything else from donating to AGDQ besides doing something good, which is the main purpose of why I wanted to do it, but but that was nice. Yeah, so and like the keycaps around the 15th, I forgot what time it was like between 8 p.m. and like 2 a.m. or something. So if you donated $25 at that time to the Cancer Foundation through AGDQ you were entered to win any of those prizes in that time block, which included my keycaps, so. Okay, so this one's all, so this one's all set. So this will get some mold. Put that safely over here. And now we just gotta do the ears. And I don't know how, If I do, hold on. Steel balls are just for uh, essentially like contrast. So we've got divots and then we've got balls that stick up. And then when I pour the mold and flip it around, I, I take the balls out. So those become the divots and these become the things that stick up. The same idea as having that little uh, Lego piece there. I can show you in another mold if you need more explanation. So I'm just trying to see. So this one, I could do this, right? I can do this on. Not like this is a sloppy. I would actually make it look, you know, I'd have it like.
Well, like... So that's what it would look like. I don't have any steel balls on this one, but I had a Lego piece, so see what I mean? The Lego piece becomes... Eh. Like this, and then you just... Uh, which side does this go on? There you go. And you just... Whoop. Lego piece it together. It's not necessary, but I like doing it. So this can be put like this, and I can just make it one piece and just pull it out. But this one, this one is. I was to talk to her like two days ago and I had another weird dream. We got up and I was like, oh, you want to hear about my weird dream? And he's like, not now, I'm reading One Piece. And I was like, oh, Jesus, okay, sorry. Just came out, I guess. I could do that and that way nothing is too low and it goes in and it should be fine. Okay, I figured it out. If I can make a one piece mold of it, I will always do that. Oh no, but then it's. Hold on. How do I get you out of the mold? That's a good question. I'd have to cut you. Well. Still one piece ish. <laughs> I'll try it. We'll see what happens. All right, I gotta heat that up again. Give me a sec. Oh, I forgot to... Sorry. You should play some Fantasy Star 4 if you like the music. So this makes it so that the monster clay will just come off of this and not stick. That's why I lube it up. Ideally, is what it does. I think this will... Uh... Maybe uh, make you face. All right, we'll try it out. Well, you should start playing some. I was joking on Fantasy Star Four. It's an uh Sega Genesis game. I cooked this too hot again. Damn it with a uh, very high battle rate. Can I use one of my thingies?
but it's enjoyable. I like the game. It's a good game. No, I didn't. No, no, this is un. This was previously unlubed. Does it evaporate? No, but like if I put clay on here, it's going to take some of the Vaseline off. All right, let's see if this will work. This is probably a stupid idea, but I'm going to try it. You see Vaseline is a mold separated, it, it's sucked up when it, I mean, if I molded, like if I uh, added Vaseline to a two-part mold, I mean, it, it helps keep the, like if I'm curing the, like if I'm pouring the second half of a mold, like Vaseline will keep you, the silicone from sticking to the already cured silicone. But I just put Vaseline on this so the monster clay doesn't stick to this because this it, it will stick to this and I don't want to deal with just like scraping it out so I find that putting uh, Vaseline on this helps which I'll just put the rest on here too and most of these that I have used uh, oh there it is yeah you can see that there's Vaseline on there from times past but here we go It's not sticky? Well, Vaseline's slick, but... But, like, it, it is on, like... Vaseline that... Like, anything that touches Vaseline is gonna get, like, greasy. Alright. So Vaseline's just a good... It's a good thing to have if you're a sculptor, I would say. It helps just smooth things over. I don't actually need to make this. The crash is coming. Go to sleep. Get some rest. I'll be streaming for another like hour and 20 minutes. I wish I could stream longer comfortably, but after four hours, I'm just like, no, I'm done. I need to do something else. I need to rest my eyes. I need to stop being social. No. No more. Okay, that's good. That's it. Yeah, but you got like people who are full time streamers who like stream six to eight hours and I'm just like, damn, I don't know how you do that. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot to do, my friend. I don't I, I don't know. Also, like, I have things and ways I like to do things. Like, when I do this kind of stuff, I'm usually just, like, hyper-focused in what I'm doing. I'm not talking to people, and I totally have, like, a show on in the background. I'm never listening to music. So when I do stuff like this, it's, it's different. And I know it's different. I can't get into a certain, like, comfort zone that I can when I'm just by myself. 55 days and you take this somewhere else how do you do a subathon for 55 days like did they sleep on the stream Was it snuffy? Oh, they would play. That's cheating.
World of Tanks streamer. Oh, okay. I just know Snuffy did like a, a snuffathon or whatever. This is not gonna work. See, look, it just came off. All right, two part mold. I'm just gonna save myself the headache. No, her name's Snuffy. She's a VTuber. She's like this uh, crude raccoon VTuber. That's so tight, though. Maybe it doesn't. Uh, no, you know, not. Nah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I didn't watch it. I don't actually watch Snuffy. No offense to her. I, just, I don't watch her. But I think her VTuber model is kind of cool. Oh, like two of them. Yeah, that'll work. I actually don't watch any VTubers, really. But I have them on my list just to see what they're doing. Where I'm like, what are you crazy people doing? Or snuffle fan? I don't know if they're called snuffle fans. <laughs> I don't know if they're called snuffle fans. All right, let's do this again. Yeah, they, there's. I mean, in one way, it makes sense. You're a VTuber. You make a lot of money. You might as well have a lot of different models. Some people change their models like so much where I'm like, what? What is going on? Who are you now? Is Iron Mouse? I sh I have her followed. I don't watch her. Like, I've popped in once in a while and I'm like, oh, she's doing something. She's got 20,000 subs. Holy... And then I close it. I'm like, holy shit. Ha, 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 How? Every, I'm like, does she still have 20,000? Yes, she does. Is Iron Mouse Puerto Rican? I th thought she was, but i also not 100% sure. Yeah, she got 20,000 subs. She sings and I don't, she does other stuff. I don't know what she does. I know she won like some streamer award. I don't know. I was like, oh, cool. Good for you. I'm jealous of your 20,000 subs, but you know, not in a bad way. Just like, God damn. What the hell are you doing over here? Okay. I, I decided I'm just gonna make this a two part mold. I'll just deal with the sanding. I don't, I'm not, I'm not gonna deal with whatever shenanigans happen when I try to make a one part mold. She can't do much else? What do you mean? Is she... Is she disabled? Is there something wrong with her? Other VTubers I follow, Silver Veil, of course. I have watched her a few times. When she was playing games, I... I actually enjoyed but uh <coughs> her disease she has immune disease she's bedridden and gave oh and get okay so vtubing was like her way of socializing getting out there okay 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 well that's oh well, that sucks i'm sorry i'm still jealous of her twenty thousand subs but you know I wish her good health, if she can have that. But in a way, it's really, like, nice that she's able to support herself and socialize and be entertaining and, and like, make some type of impact. 
just by popping on Twitch and VTubing. I think that's really nice. Common variable immunodeficiency. I've never heard of that. She needs plasma infusions? Oh my god. Okay. Jeez. Had no idea. any other VTubers? Not watch, but like follow? Wasn't of your interest? I did like a mass unfollow of a bunch of people because I was like, I'm never going to watch these people. Uh, most of it was like over <laughs> Overwatch streamers. I'm like, no. I am... I'm very much past the point of wanting to watch anything Overwatch related. Goodbye. There we go. Excuse me. I have like this lipstick stuff that's moisturizing, so I'm gonna put it on. Sea Dog? I look like a crazy person. All right, cool. Oh yeah, I was following Nyaner's Nyan for a while, but then I realized I never ever ever watched her stuff, so I was like, ah, I'll just unfollow. I mostly watch speedrunners. Or like people I know, like I'll put on like Slags or, or Waffles stream, even though I hate Overwatch. Just to like, basically just to give them a view and some support. And usually I'm just like, okay, cool, whatever, you know. He's a Welsh streamer, so his voice acting, it was in some DBZ Ace. Oh, cool. I think VTubing getting popular was pretty good overall for women on Twitch. I do, I agree. Especially small streamers, creeps will be there regardless. I took away the pressure to be on camera. It basically makes it like you could take VTubing to whatever level you want. Like you can be a VTubing character. You know what I mean? Like you can just be that character. And then when you stop streaming, you can just be yourself. And that's fine. And that, that's totally like one aspect of VTubing you have. Or you can just use it like I do as an avatar when I'm too lazy to want to show my face. And it's nice. It does. It takes away like this certain type of pressure and like if people are being creepy to you and you're just solely a vtuber it's in a way like less personal because they don't actually know you they just are being creepy to your v vtuber avatar and what they think you are i know i don't know it's hard to describe but i do i really like it i like it because there's so many ways you can use vtubing from just the mild i think it like me i think it's creative i think it's fun i don't want to put makeup on every day i find it tedious uh, to the being creative and expressive and just being a whole character. I think that's like, I don't know, I really like that. And I know a lot of people don't, and um, I don't care because I think it's great. So, hey Vito, what's up? <laughs> yes, I am real mags today. You know, and it's good for uh, people who are shy People who just don't want to be on camera, but want some type of presence. I don't know. I really like it. I think it's really fun. Yeah, freedom to stream comfortably is important. It is important. I think it is. And you can get so creative with it if you want in all the different types of ways. Not just like in character, but in like presentation and stream. I don't know. I like it. I like it a lot.
ears. What you get? What you order? <clears throat> Sub to 60 people. Oh, you're emo collecting? Oh my god. Well, I have. I follow my friends. If I remember to. I have people I follow because I'm curious about what like what they're doing. So like I follow XQC. I can't stand XQC. I think he's not to my taste. And uh <laughs> But I have a few big streamers I follow, so I'm like, what are they doing now? What's going on? What are people saying? What is this? Oh, yeah, no, I still hate this, and then I'll leave. I, I like, I follow Amaranth, and I'm like, what's she doing? Oh, my gosh. You know, and then I have actual people that I just want to watch. And it's, <laughs> no, no, I am not. <laughs> uh, and then, like, usually it's, like, RPG streamers and, like, speedrunners are mostly what I have. So... What happened? All right, so now we gotta add. See, for these, I have to remember to add a vent hole. There should be no add. I don't have, uh, it starts in seven minutes. Oh, I don't have the thing up here for the ad to show you when it's coming up. How many do you have followed? Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's coming up. Um, let me see if I can add the thing so I know. What is the thing that shows the ad? Ads. Okay. Where should I put the add button? Oh, whatever. I'll fix it. When we came up the stairs, when you started going to the stairs after closing your door, she shrieked, ran, and tried to hide behind you? Oh, so for context, we all have to get our trash into bags, either walk or drive to the entrance of the condo and leave it at the designated place there. Okay, okay. You're ready to walk all the way to the entrance and dump the trash here. Okay. Weird. What happened? What's going on? And she was... She's a cockroach? That's a perfectly valid response to the cockroach. I'm just letting you know. Absolutely. She did the right thing. Ew, no, I hate roaches. Oh, no, no, no. Girl, go kill him. No, that's this is your job as a man <laughs> to kill them. That's what you're supposed to do. There we go. Where did I put you? Color correction. Oh no, that's fine. Okay. No, I'm terrified. You go. Some people have a super fear of of bugs. Can you add a toggle so they can have this last few minutes to make it disappear? Uh, no. I mean, maybe, but if that was the case, I wouldn't need this, and I would just I would know when the ad's coming up. This is just a visual reminder to let me know. Also, here you go. Can you? Perfect. 
You wouldn't have got the poison her to sc scream again and rush outside? Roaches are scary. How big is a big roach? Do you have giant ones? One here. It flew? Yours fly? No! They fly? I don't like that at all. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh good, it spared the work of killing it and putting it in the trash. Oh god, no. Oh, how are you so calm about it? She put a lot of poison in the bag and closed it and died inside? Okay, that's fair. I am still dealing with you guys having flying roaches. Ten... Ugh. Shit, that's ten centimeters. Wow! That's big! You said centimeters? Yours are like four inches? Yeah, she should scream. I'd scream too. What are you talking about? I have a battle accent with me everywhere I go. That's insane. I don't like the normal roaches. Oh, that makes me mad. I'd fight. Oh, God. I'd be so angry. God. Ah, oh, I forgot what I was doing. God, that's terrible. Yeah, she is so for real. Yeah. Oh my god. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. If I screamed and I was like, please kill it, and someone told me to kill it, I would be so mad. I would just. I'd rage. I'd rage out. I don't know. I've always had to be the one that kills the big bugs. I had to kill a freaking. I don't know if it was like a hobo spider or a brown recluse, but I had to do that. I was not I was not pleased. I looked at my ex and I was like, this is one of the main reasons I'm dating someone is you kill it. He's like, I can't. And I was like, fine. So I threw a, <laughs> threw a sneaker at it on the wall. It's terrible. Anyway. Uh, so when ad break's coming up, you can see it in the corner now. <laughs> Oh, it's, hold on, let me fix it so it looks better. There we go. They survive poison. You just smash it into just smithereens. Alright, we'll be right back. Three minute ad.
I mean, I think you can use words with apostrophes. I know can't works. I tried ain't, but ain't ain't a word, so. Do that. I'll just send it. Ain't ain't a word. No, I'm being silly. Just do this. Dant? What it what is dant? The ant. <clears throat> okay. Throw these nubs out. Good. This looks good. This looks like. There we go. Let's do this a little bit. I fix that in there. Dant is to intimidate. I had no idea. Not a word that's ever come, like, came up in any type of conversation. Dint? What's dint? Uh, we can just make this simple. Hey, Bizarro Ham, how you doing? What's up? What did you get? What food did you get? I am hungry. I had a bowl of mashed potatoes, and now I'm like, yeah, I could eat something. It's been rough. Is it work? You working too much? I'm sorry. Okay, ready? Noodles with veggie and pork and five spring rolls. Nice. Boy, bruv, I got a dent in my head. Oh. Wouldn't that be a dent? No, with the oh okay. I suppose that makes. I get. I guess that counts. Kind of. What? Uh, we'll do this. So see. Unexpected expenses and pain. Roommate's cat knocks your water over your desk, all over your phone. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I'm sorry about the the money and the pain. Those terrible combination. I'm sorry. I hope things get better, whatever's going on. I send my good vibes to you. You missed um 
I have no idea what's been going on. I've just been doing this and just rambling. Oh, and that Vito, where Vito's from, he has roaches that are like four to five inches long and can fly. Roaches love onion and garlic skin and your trash was full. <laughs> so I went there to get nom noms and I got murdered. That's fair. I did. I finished the dong. It's in its place. It's it's doing. As long as I don't go like this. It's 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 stabilized, right? I mean, there's going to be a little wiggle no matter what. I can take a picture here. You have vacation coming up, so you're going to be painting for a week. That's nice. Good. I don't know what's going on, but you take it easy and heal up. Pain usually means injury, so heal up. I need to take a picture of this. No, I didn't add balls. There you go. Okay. My brightness was pretty much up. It's working, so I'm happy about it. All right. That's so silly. What's in this mold? Uh, Pikachu ears. Pikachu... Soulless, creepy Pikachu body. Pikachu tail. Sorry, this way. Pikachu tail. I didn't mean to make the entire stream me doing these molds. I really thought it was going to be very fast. But it's just been this the whole time. Yeah, basically Pikachu is doing that. But I swear this Pikachu is cute once uh, once he has his eyes properly painted and not crazy. So the circles are like... Uh, ooh. I'm trying to find a mold. So this... We'll do this one. So what I'll do, see what it looks like. I'll pour the silicone in here to make the first half of the mold. And when I pull it out, this is what it'll basically look like, the bumples, right? And then I pour the other half and the other half will have the divots. And basically it makes it so it locks it in place. So I can't move this. So I know that the mold will be together properly. That's what that's what the 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 divots and the little uh, steel balls do. <laughs> because if you just make a mold, say like um, pretend this was a two part mold. Pretend there's like a, a part that goes. It's a two part. I don't know. Pretend this is the mold, right? And I I don't know. I'm making some weird double boo. All right. You know, and pretend there's holes I can put resin in. Well, that this, you know, now I don't know where the mold goes together properly. You know what I mean? There's no, there's nothing to lock it in. So this is, this is to lock it in. I have made molds where I completely forget to do this part. And I'm just like, oh, sh shit. And then I have to carve into like the mold, the silicone before I pour the second half to make some type of lock in it. So. They, you, it's fine. I don't mind being distracted. It's. Art is half chatting anyway, so. Is Curse without all its features? How many uses do I get out of one mold? Uh, it depends. I don't count. I just pay attention to eventually, like, you know. Like, for keycap molds, this is supposed to be, like, super uber shiny, but after a while, it loses its sheen. So in this, I only get, like, maybe ten. And then I, it starts losing its sheen and becomes satin. And things that don't matter on its finish. 
I can get I can do it until it, it, it starts breaking apart, which is like a lot of molds. And there's ways to make sure your silicone doesn't degrade as much. You can use like mold release or Vaseline to kind of keep it moisturized. It's a whole thing. So, but yeah, mold, mold silicone does, you know, degrade. And depends on like what you're using it for, it can degrade, like it degrades faster. So if I need something that always has a sheen or a shine and I do like 10 casts, then it'll start degrading and I'll lose the shine and all that kind of stuff. Hey, Pauline, how you doing? I always need Mold Star. Do you like, look at this. This whole thing is probably going to take one thing of Mold Star. If I'm lucky. And like, I can cut corners, you know what I mean? Like, I could fill this with like, uh, ah, sorry, this stuff cools down, it's hard to grab. I'm not actually going to do it, but for example, I could place this here and like form so the mold would look like this, so I don't have to add extra silicone here. But I I, I don't want to mess with my molds right now. I, I want these to be really good molds, so I'm not going to do any like corner cutting at the moment. Also because I want to be able to put, say, uh, like cardboard around them and rubber band it properly. And if it's all like weird angled instead of just easy and square, it makes it a little tougher to do or sometimes impossible. And like I said, I just want this to um, I want this to be like the base good mold and be like, OK, I got a good I got a good thing. But if I've been making something a bunch like when I made the charm, you should see the charm in mold. Now that is all over the place because it's so big and I was like I cannot keep using so much resin like this is this is just supposed to like be the reservoir for the resin to pour in so when I take this away it'll just have this huge divot so I don't have to cut it out I'm trying that to see if that works but you just learn all these different techniques and things that work for you as an artist when you're when you do it a whole bunch my problem is I have a goldfish brain sometimes so I'll just totally forget like one important thing and be like god damn it <laughs> thank you guys like ah, let me see if I have it this will help explain Did I even do this? I think I might have given up on the last one. No, that's not even the right thing. Don't mind me. There's a big mold. Oh man, this... Are you nomming? I love my stupid nom emote.
Well, I don't know where I put it, so. Yes, <laughs> Felix. I probably put it away somewhere safe, and I have no idea where I put it. I'll find it eventually. All right, we heard the song already. Matoya's cave. All right. Now we can finally do some molding. So let's uh let's finish this up. <laughs> This a little bit higher. That should be that should be good. That should be good. Now we do Pikachu. Pikachu, should I? Oh god, what? What am I doing here? I make a well. I make a well right here. See how that works out? No. I'll just. I'll cut in there. That's good enough. This is hot mess of a mold, but that's okay. I have like weird memories of trying to make a proper mold of Pikachu, which I couldn't do because I didn't know about like the vent holes and stuff like that. I didn't have a pressure pot and just, oh man, I got, it's just, I did crazy things. And I can't tell you what they were. I just know they were crazy. And what's right, like nice that I have now is I have a uh, filler for some of my resin. So I can mix resin with filler to make it heavier or lighter. Uh, so what I want to try to do is mix filler for Pikachu and put the heavier stuff when I Pour it in, put the light stuff on his head, and then pour in the, like, the heavy- No, because then it'll just go to the bottom. Never mind. Terrible idea. You learn from this not crazy? That's fair. It, this is still a little- A little- Ah! A little something. I found my brush! This has been gone for so long. This is my other... Vaseline brush. Hey. Okay. For me, I get to play with Legos, which I'm always a fan of. Um. Oh my god, there's so much, so much silicone going in here. <laughs> This is why I work small. It's cheaper. It's tougher, but it's cheaper. There you go. Alright, I'll get my mold stuff. I'll get my thing.
I need building a sarcophagus for the famous celebrity Pikachu. Yeah. We got three pieces. I'm going to get the thing that I put the thing in. <laughs> Is, this top? Is it this top? So cloning is possible. Hey, okay, hold on. Never test this properly. You're gonna to be too tall, right? Yes. Yes, you are. Good to know. No. No, no, no. It doesn't touch. Which actually not the biggest deal. Could could probably Oh, no, because then you tip a little. All right, oh, second layer. First layer, second layer. There you go. Okay, uh, uh, uh. If you had a friend who's willing to throw more money at you, would you be able to work with bigger pieces, hypothetically, of course? No, it's against my um, contract with sculpting. Excuse me. How much do you think this will? You want to see a cool torture device I made? Of course you guys do. I needed to be able to stick things. I don't have any examples. I needed to be able to stick things like this onto a thing so I could cure it properly. So I made So I made this. It's very pointy. But it works, and then the monster clay just keeps the, the pins in. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Let's just pour and see what's in here. This is my light, sorry. Come on, buddy. You always get more blue than white stuff. 
Well, let that sit for a minute because I'm going to need more mold than this. I'll start mixing the other, the new batch. Is that better? Sure. All right. <laughs> I'll be right back again. Well, this is actually how it normally is for me. I try not to do it for you guys, but I can't help it. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Mold star. Nice and fresh. Smooth on is very good. It gives you a technical sheet that gives you almost basically all the information you could ever want or need. Important things like being able to open paper. It tells you the mix ratio, the cure time, the viscosity, hot life, the shore hardness, 30A. Uh, stuff I don't understand. Tensile strength, elongation at break. Oh, I can pull this 30, 339% before it will tear. The color, is it edible? No. Cure inhibition, safety data sheets, all the, all the stuff. It's really, really good. I don't need any of it, but. These are my mixing brushes. I've never brushed with them, but I mix my mold star with it. No, oh, doesn't smell like candy. Right, you're still going a little bit, so here you go. <laughs> yes. Uh, none of this is like toxic or anything, so I don't worry about touching it too much. There's edible stuff you can sculpt with, like um, modeling chocolate. And, um, um, uh, what's it called? Fondant. It's like Siobhan? No. Fondant? No, this doesn't smell. It has no smell, actually. This stuff isn't toxic or anything. There's a. Uh, does not intentionally contain anything that'll kill you. It's all good. If this had like bad fumes or stuff, I'd wear a, a mask. I just mix it up. I don't know if it's super necessary to have to mix it up, but I do it anyway. At least one time when I open it, it's the mixing. I'll get marzipan. That's a that's basically ground almonds with sugar. Delicious, scrumptious. Oh, so good.
I've never done any food art. So I'm as I didn't put some discords. Not many people would really eat it. I like marzipan. Or as my mom would always call it, matzipan, which I guess is she tells me the German way to say it. She was she was just like, no, it's not marzipan, it's matzipan. So I was the 14-year-old dumbass that would go to the counter and be like, can I have some matzipan? And they'd be like, what? I'm like, matzipan. And they're like, marzipan? And I'm like, no, it's matzipan, obviously. Um, anyway, I realized, I realized what I was doing and was like, oh, I'm wrong, whoops. <laughs> My bad. I didn't know. Where's Ben's delicious? Oh, it's so good. So much sugar though, but so delicious. <sighs> but it has to be with chocolate. I don't know. By itself, it's fine, but you give me like chocolate covered marzipan, like dark chocolate covered marzipan. <sighs> nom nom nom. Happy nom noms. This is why I'll never lose weight. Food is so, food is so good, so tasty, so nice. Oh, god damn it! All right, so we mix this side up. Okay, we're making a mess. That's okay. We'll just fix that in a minute. Oh my gosh, the popo is out in force. And would you guess what your doctor suggested to you when she saw your weight today? <coughs> How bad's your weight? See, I am... I am... I will hide in just a second. I am right below the technical... being overweight. I am st like 0.5 still within the normal weight range. At least when I got weighed on uh, my checkup for my tummy. And to be fair, I had boots and a coat on, but still. That was for my cough, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I still have a cough, though. It's a constant tickle right here. Never goes away. All right. Just when I start gabbing, I'll forget like I'm coughing. Cause I do try to be very cognizant about it, so I don't do it so much with you guys. The flu and then like all the fumes in the place from the neighbors finishing the floors has definitely aggravated my throat a lot. So two eighty three to like forty pounds heavier. Heavier. I don't. I don't like those. Just I don't know what these numbers correlate to. But if you're happy, you're happy. Be happy. If you want to lose weight, lose weight. If you don't, don't. It's your body. Do what the hell you want to. That's my theory. Now, when it comes to me, it's different. I'm a perfectionist and I... I want to be in shape one day. All right, so now we pour more. I actually don't care what the scale says. I just want to lose some body fat and get muscle instead. That's it. I'm going to do half. I don't want to overdo it. If you stay at this way, you'll quickly develop health, health issues. More health issues. Okay. Well, you're a guy. I keep telling you this. You're a guy. Just work out. You'll get lots of muscles. Easy. Good morning, Marsh. How you doing? Morning?
what to use to stir those smooth on pots? What these? Like what did I use to stir this? Use paintbrushes. Six. These they're far away now. Yeah, I just used really long paintbrushes that I put aside for stirring. Doesn't have to be exact. Now uh, these are too uh these are too tall for s popsicle sticks. But anything uh hold on. Go back to working out, but meal prepping is annoying. Well, just do it. That's no, that's no reason. Lots of stuff is annoying. You gotta do it anyway. I don't need gloves. This is fine. There's nothing harmful in here. I use this to stir. This is what I- I literally use a long paintbrush. To stir. So. That's what I do. I do. I live- I live on the edge. This is a very comfortable safe edge though. I have a wand. Kind of. Um, there we go. You're right there too. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be better, but it's not it's not working. Food is so tasty. It's tough. Tough man. That's why I'm trying to work out after I stop being sick, which be lovely. Anyway, you mix each half together into a designated silicone container. Oh no. Oh no. Your kitchen's right there. I just try not to have the stuff I want to eat. Like the bad stuff. That's what I usually do. Like right now, oh, I have cereal. Just also terrible for you. I think I'll eat some cereal. <laughs> okay, that was the stirring portion. Oh, it's all dirty. Not anymore? Well, like I said, I got the flu. I'm recovering from that. Before that, I started working out again. Just just doing like some walking on the treadmill for an hour and then just a few little bit of weight stuff. And I got sick. Now I'm still recovering from that. And I hurt my back last week on my birthday, actually. And it's still... It was really painful for like three days straight. Like couldn't sleep well kind of painful. It's lower back right here. Uh, but every day, like, I couldn't sit up, couldn't, like, walking hurt it. Oh, my God. Um, but every day after that, it's been getting slowly, then getting better. So once that basically gets to a point where I can't, like, I don't notice it anymore, then I'll get back to working out. I'll just cough and weave my, wheeze my way through it. You don't like to cook what you've been doing more of it lately, and it's been tasting good. So that's nice. That is nice. You can... See it as a skill to learn. I I don't know. I like I meal prep for crow every 
it's a uh, Sunday or Monday, depending for the week. So he has food to eat. So he doesn't just order out food. It's healthier. It saves him money. He knows exactly what he's eating. I have a skill of cooking now, so it's tedious. But then I just like I, if I don't want to do it, I just put on a show or some music and just bebop while uh, watching that and then just do the cooking. Now for myself, I don't really, I just like, I just scrounge, I, I just do whatever. But this week I actually made uh, bone broth. I basically made like beef soup stock out of bones and like leftover vegetables and stuff. Cause I wanted just something nourishing for my body. And uh, I drink it, I drink a cup of it in the morning. It's actually really good. I was like, damn, this is great. At one point I had crackers, so I dipped the crackers in. So I'd have some crackers and bone broth, beef bone broth. Oh, it's really nice. And then because I have the broth and I have more vegetables and whatnot, I can just make soup. I can make the soup of the day I want. Whatever flavor. You can relate to the coughing and wheezing. Whispers of oil and seasoning and bake or air fry, then heat up some canned frozen veggies. I like plain chicken breast is really gross to me, I realize. I don't like it. It needs to be it needs to not taste like chicken. I don't know. Yeah, basically that's how I did it with how I do it. Like, so I actually, I also parboiled some eggs. So I can just, and I have some noodles that I, I cooked. So I could just throw some noodles in, throw in an egg. I have some um, carrots I can chop up that I would like cook for a little bit because I like them soft. So yeah, I can do like two minutes or 10 minutes and I'll have like a, a nice little soup. I also have a, a piece of steak that I threw in when I was making the broth that I ripped apart. So I could throw that in there. And then I can, you know, flavor it with like soy sauce or sriracha, or I can make it, you know, like put some thyme and rosemary in. I, it's it's nice. It's nice to have a little variety or options. All right, this is stirred. Ramen eggs are so good. Uh, I guess I'll show you guys the, the porn. Oh, that's gonna be loud. Huh. Stir, stir fine with some veggies and honey garlic. That sounds delicious. Goodbye, Pikachu. You lived a good life. Pika, no. Perfect. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, We let this sit for a few minutes. I'm gonna pour the rest. I'm gonna to need to mix some more. This has like a 40 minute pot working time, but those 40 minutes pop up on me faster than I think sometimes. So. You don't have a microwave? Oh my gosh. Barbarian.
It's oven or nothing. What about a stove? Oh shit, Time Scar is such a good song. You got a toaster a month ago? My old place didn't have a toaster and then our oven didn't quite work. Like the top coil didn't turn on anymore. It was hard to make toast in the oven because that's what I used to have to do. Anyway. All right. We'll do one, two, three. Four? Four would be good? I think four. All right. Four. Toast in the oven is actually really good because it, it bakes it so it's really, it's nice, crispy, crunchy, but it takes forever. Try to be clean. I try. A grilled cheese. You want a smoothie? You have a huge iron to use on the stove? Okay. Stove and oven or nothing. Okay, just checking. Hot chocolate is just so nice. Oh, I, oh, oh, oh. I have this. Hold on. I'll show you after I do this, because I, I kind of need to finish this first. Sorry. I make hot chocolate like uh, pods. And then I just throw them in if I if I want them. It's so good. But see, to prevent myself from making hot chocolate or mochas all the time, I just don't buy milk. But we got milk because Crow wants oatmeal for breakfast, but you haven't made them yet. Thank you. So the thing I go through a lot of is paper towels. Right. Cooking stream? Might be able to do that again sometime. Maybe. You haven't had hot chocolate in more than a year. Oh, hot chocolate's so nice. Also because you can customize it to whatever you like. You want peppermint hot chocolate? You want marshmallows? Whipped cream? Cinnamon? Spicy? Alright, I need to wash my hands after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tiny ones? Oh, that's a good idea. Do you want like caramel, brittle caramel pieces on top? Like I'll make hot chocolate, homemade whipped cream, and then I'll I'll make like my home homemade like caramel, like brittle, break them up, put it on top, let it melt in. Very delicious. In your hot beverage, you make coffee, dark, bitter, and better. If you <laughs> Haven't noticed, I have a, a cough and uh, all the stuff I'm talking about makes it worse, but coffee definitely doesn't help. Right. I'm 
I'm gonna need to make more, aren't I? Damn it. Nope. Okay, good. Ha ha! And then the excess can just go in here! Pikachu's gonna be super embalmed. Okay. Favorite part of making a mess is having to clean it up. I just make it part of my routine, not even think about it. Like, it's just the thing I do, you know? All right, uh, ad break is coming up actually right now. I'm going to put this in my pressure pot. Uh, I'll put the game on automatic, and uh, then I'll be back when it's all, uh, it's all done.
Excuse me. Oh, jeez. Oh, excuse me. Oh, thank you. You don't have to throw money at me. It's okay. Also, did you ruin your keyboard? Is it okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Just clean my desk up. Oh, yeah. 321 plus 6... six million six hundred fifty four thousand four hundred ninety eight plus zero zero. To you too. Does it? Oh, that's not so bad then. Okay. It's not like my mom where she spilled coffee on her laptop and then just basically ended up soaking the whole thing. There you go. I completely forgot what the second thing I was going to do. It was Pikachu and then something. Oh, give me a minute. <coughs> you had a Pikachu mouth pad? That's cute. Do some simple sanding. Oh my! <laughs> Cora! Oh my gosh, thank you! I saw you followed earlier. How are you? Thank you so much. I miss you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Ugh. It's like old times. Now I just need pew. A little dirty. Oh no, that's cute. That's adorable. Alright. Luna shade. You're gonna watch me putz around for a minute while I figure out what I'm doing. If you soak it in cold water, it, it might be able to be cleaned properly. Alright. I'm gonna hold on to this because I, I need it for other stuff. <laughs> I was trying to get the blush out of this because this is a broken container, but it wasn't working. So, that's good to know. I still need to work on these. Oh, I should work on these. I totally forgot about these, my, my little lady. Here we go. <coughs> Thank you. I tried to do the Kirby molds in a different way. Uh, so there's no more um, like split here. It's it's a one piece mold, but it is like torn on the side. Anyway, it seems to be pretty decent, surprisingly. A lot less work to fix them up. Apparently I Got silicone stuck in the foot, which doesn't really matter because I would paint the foot anyway. This donger is so big over here. <laughs> here it 
is, by the way, if you want to see it, I had to add this as a stabilizer. This is what's holding the camera up. And now it's... You could beat someone with this. Actually, it's really solid. Oh my god. No, no more flop. They did cure weirdly or, you know... This way. I had to put this to help it stabilize. Okay. Yeah, you can kill those four-inch cockroaches with that? Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. Alright. I was also working on... It's over here, huh? Switch this to be over here. Where the hell? Right here? I could do that. That's right, I painted the head. The head is all done. I attached the hair to each of them. Apparently I put a black mark on her horn right there, which I will have to fix later. So the heads were done. It was the bodies that I needed to do. Yep, yeah, that's, that's the character. Here she is. Sculpture and animated. All right, so then it was, I did, okay, I worked on the tail. <sighs> tail goes in the butt. Legs go in the base. And then head goes on the body. Eventually. I don't know if this is the correct head for the body, but... There we go. Okay. <laughs> so head is done, tail is done. I need to remember this. Head done, tail done. Need to do body and base. Okay. Thank you. They're fun to do, you know? Pain in the ass to paint, though. <clears throat> Perfect chibi head size and body size. I tried to... It's basically one to one. The head is the same size as the body. <laughs> More or less. It's my preferred style. So. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, this head goes over here. Wait. And this body goes over here. Wait. No, hold on. Oh, God. This body, this body, this head. Oh, this body. Oh no, okay, never mind. I had all the heads correctly situated. Don't listen to me. <laughs> I painted the black. I started painting the white. All she needs is her... This is uh, red. She's got little, like, fingerless gloves on, because I think that's cool. And those are black. And then little yellow flip-flops, which I just indicated as little Vs, because on this style you can't really do much with the hands and the feet. So, okay. Let's paint, uh, let's look at the bodies. Ah, yes, I did this one backwards. Okay. 
It come oh yay! I'm glad. I guess I'll I'll uh I'll paint the red on here. I'll get like a base layer. That'll be good for now. I actually need my the yeah hole paint. I'll be right back. Some reds. Give me a second. Meow, meow. So, do you guys, uh, you miss art streams? Should I continue to do art streams? Yeah. I'm still gonna do gaming streams. The only time I get to play video games is when I stream them. Just making sure. You don't usually play yourself? Same with me. Zoom out a bit so you see what I'm doing before I continue on. So this character, her name's Meryl. I gave her teal hair because I think that's cool and I like it. I gave her horns because also horns are cool. I like it. Same with pointy ears, pointy teeth. And then I gave her the color scheme and kind of outfit from Star Trek Next Generation because I'm a huge nerd and I can't character design. So that's why I did that. And then I gave her fingerless gloves because they're cool and I like them. <laughs> and then I just threw a bunch of other... I gave her bike shorts because... As a kid, I wore bike shorts all the time because I was a gymnast. So I was just like, I'm going to give her bike shorts. And that's how I character design. I just take a bunch of stuff that I like and throw it together with some references. And then, uh, ta-da, I made a character. That's it. That's the thought process. Yep. <laughs> Streams are gonna be your favorite. I'm always teaching you stuff. And, you know, I realized like halfway through the stream, I was like, oh, I'm just telling people stuff. Like, do they want to know this? I, I list my stuff as educational, but I don't know if anybody cares. Star Trek, inferior star. You get your dirty, four foot tall cockroach ass out in. Next generation so good. I love next generation. Oh, I should make you guys suffer and I'll play that on stream. Oh, now I actually want to do that. And then I can explain why Worf's my favorite character and then why Data is my favorite character and then why Captain Picard is my ultimate favorite character. <laughs> Just have it in the corner down here. Where's the camera? Down here. Make it a little bit bigger. I don't have Netflix anymore, so I can't do the Netflix stuff. And knock on wood, I don't think any like anyone's gonna care too much that I'm streaming some next generation. Let's just make it so the audio doesn't get saved. Anytime you have to do something art related, you have a strangely strong foundation because of me. Oh, oh, well, thank you. I mean, I'm just winging it as I go. It's a, a lot of trial and error, which I find fun. I actually love trial and error, as long as it doesn't cost me a lot of money. And then uh, Googling. You know, a lot of artists share, you know, tutorials on what they do. And then just figure out what works for you. Oh, that's nice. Um, I'm going to give these... 
Answer dumb questions, you're always learning and improving, so you will let us know what works for you. First of all, your questions aren't dumb at all. And second, thanks. I try, you know. So asking if we wanted to do the Amazon Prime watch along and... Oh yeah, because I completely forgot about it and I don't remember anyone like really responding to it. I'm looking for like overwhelming responses. <laughs> also, I just forget. And I think it felt like it was unfair because not everyone has Amazon Prime. And I was like, screw it. If I'm going to play like Star Trek Next Generation, I'll just put it in the corner on stream. Like, big deal. Oh, I got a cut on my knee. You see this cut on my hand right here? Where's my hand? You see that? I walked into a door frame where, you know, the thing that latches on your door, the, it, the, I don't know, uh, on the wall, you know, when you open the door, the little thing goes in. <laughs> well, the, the thing that puts the, th anyway, whatever, it was blunt metal and I just scratched my hand on it and, uh, that was like three weeks ago. Yeah, the hinge. Uh... Here. I don't think I explained it at all. I like the British man though. He's British. British is always sounds fancy to me. Thank you for the thank you, OJ. Thank you for the dollary dues. Oh, I like to call them pennies. Thank you for the pennies. Thank you, thank you. Well maybe I'll do some next generation next time. You guys can learn some wacky moral lessons. Alright, see, so this is a door, right? That's a doorknob. That's the little thing that when you turn the doorknob it goes in, right? And that's the other side. This is the other side. This is where the little thing goes in, right? You know, and it, it, it's usually like a little metal circle -y thing. It's got a divot. And anyway, that's the thing. Like, I was just walking and I just went on the, the metal thing and it just cut my hand open sore somehow. Yeah. Anyway. No, you won't get bored. You will be so excited, Vito. You will not know how to handle yourself. You know, you will be converted. I will convert you. And by converting you, I mean the second I put it on and you're there and you're just like, this is boring, is when I will believe that you love it. And no matter what you say, in my heart, you'll love Star Trek. Okay, hold on, I'm not doing this wrong. Anyway, thank you again. Sorry, I'm trying to multitask a bunch of stuff now. All right. Also, in case you want to know how small this is, you haven't realized, it's like the size of my thumbnail. And I sculpted this. Well, the original. Yeah. So I'm just letting you know, you're going to like it whether you like it or not. So. <laughs> oh, I need my, I need my, I need my magnifying glasses. I see like miniature uh, painters, like the crazy ones. Oh my God. You know, the ones that like paint on all the shadow and the highlights and like, you know, like the thing is holding a lantern, they'll paint on the lantern, like light source onto the feet. It's so amazing. I am always in awe of how, how good some people are. And one day I'm going to try to do it, but it looks, Jesus, a car. <laughs> Cora, thank you for the dollar reduce. Thank you. Your silence is unnerving. 
but I, I accept it. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll take that as a, uh, you also like Star Trek, uh, dono. <laughs> I thank you. Yeah, I see, like, these model painters, and they're just amazing, and I, I, I just... And some show, like, kind of how they do it, and I'm like, alright, maybe I'll try it one time. It looks so tedious. That's coming from me. Why did I paint this gray? Luckily, this is painted black here, so I don't need to be super... The only fun Star Trek series is the J.J. Amber- You- You are- Oh my god. To be fair, I watched the first two? I don't remember anything about them. I did enjoy them as, like, separate kind of things. I like that the- Was it the second one had the original Spock in it? I never watched the original series, but I mean, I, I know- You know. The actor. And then, like, Vulcan got destroyed. That made me sad. Was it the first one? Maybe it was the first one. I don't know. I, th I think I watched two. Make ASMR miniature painting videos? What part would like the AMS, a, 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 ASMR part be? Like the, the water? Otherwise it's just me breathing. Also, I, where I live is kind of noisy, so you always hear like... Police or the ambulances. Also crow's really noisy. Oh, what's up? Two... <laughs> Was that two? Th okay, I'm confusing the first one with the second one. I know I watched both, though. I don't know if there were any more after that. You know, I can just, um... Can I stick this in here? Oh, there we go. Oh, problem solved. Sorry. I haven't watched Picard yet. I download I downloaded it all legally, of course, and uh, I have them saved. Captain Picard's one of my heroes, so I just uh, I'm a little hesitant to watch it. Watching the original Star Trek, the horror show rather than sci-fi gives it such a, <laughs> such a fun angle. Most episodes, it really is the main guys being stuck in a nightmare scenario and trying to get out of it. Oh, that sounds funny. I know my mom loved the original Star Trek. It was a very big thing for her when it came out. But, uh, it's a little... I don't know, I think I'd have a hard time getting into it. It's just a little, it's a little super dated. There we go, that's looking a little a little more like it should. The band around it is black, so I need to remember to do that later. Then we yellow for the flip-flops, and then I, I was just like it was like cobbles not like like you know cobblestone and sand and then some like purple pink flame because she's got purple pink 
powers. I don't remember what I was doing, but I'll figure that out later. <coughs> I have another toothpick. Please. Right. You're back from not sleep from not sleeping? How was your not sleep? Isn't that late for you? Would it be willing and able to either procure a series? To yeah, totally legal. Or lend you the links I use. Yeah, what series? What do you need? It's 2 a.m. Get some rest. If you already totally didn't pass out, you should totally not pass out again. Oh, no. Ted Lasso? That's a show? How many seasons? How many episodes? Oh, I forgot about this. Three seasons, 12 episodes. I can download it, uh... It would have to be... Oh! Tindo! Thank you for, uh, thank you for the prime! Thank you, thank you! I really appreciate that. Thank you for, <laughs> thank you for following. <laughs> Welcome in! Uh, OJ, I can do that, most likely. Just remind me, okay? After stream, I'm just going to veg out for a bit and do my, uh, any Etsy stuff I have, Patreon stuff, which I haven't done. And then maybe make some soup. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I realize it's not. There we go. I should have painted this red first on all of them. <laughs> Excuse me. Cara, thank you. Thank you for the 20 bucks. Hello to you too. How are you doing? Thank you. Sorry, I, know I look a little crazy. Take your energy, be able to help you sleep. Come here. Just. Thank you. It's me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I hope you're doing good. I really appreciate it, guys. You're very, very kind. I know they have a thing that makes it so, uh, you can donate and it does like AI voices. So you can do like Homer and make the person sound like Homer when you like donate. I forgot what it's called. And I was just like, this seems like it was definitely used to troll the streamer I was watching. Uh, and it was hilarious. I was like, I don't know if I ever want to do that. <laughs> you said energy, not blood. Wait. Similar. Oh, I just got rid of the black, but that's all right. Part of this I can't do on stream is the really details because it's, it's me just like this. So I could just base coat it for now and then probably like two, two coats of red. I'll let it dry. I'll do some shading. 
I'll fix all the black parts that I messed up. <laughs> you gotta bounce? Yeah, I gotta, oh god, I streamed 40 minutes longer than I meant to. Whoops. Yes, it is Meryl. I think that's how I spelt it. I might have put two L's at the end. I just liked lots of letters. Anyway, you have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. I will. I'll say hi to all the mini Merrells. All right, let's do these two, and then that'll be the end for me. There we go. Like I said, tomorrow I'll be playing more Mario RPG, the remake. I've told people on stream before, but I have a second VTuber now. And it's a redemption, so you can switch them up whenever you want. If you want. I'm trying to make things, you know, fun and interesting, creative. That whole stuff. I did almost just decide to play Chrono Trigger again on stream, and I was like, no, I can't. I have like five playthroughs. I'm, and I literally don't do anything different in any of the playthroughs. I have a problem and I need to stop. <laughs> oh, sorry. Although then I was like, maybe I can do Final Fantasy VI and I can do like a natural magic run. Which is, uh, it's when you don't use any of the espers and you only use, the only magic you use is from those who naturally, natural magic, the ones who learn it naturally, which is, um, Sully's and Terra. And, and realm. And like, I think you could use like Strago's lore, you know, his blue blue magic. I don't remember if like items you can learn magic from count, like a uh, fire shield or anything. I think I remember reading that they're not allowed either. But I mean, I can make my own rules if I really want to. And then you try to, to beat the game. Or you could play the other game with Yasunori Mitsuda's music, you know, Xenoblade. <laughs> I finally got Xenoblade for the Switch. My friend Tim got it for me for Christmas. For my birthday? No, Christmas. He got it for Christmas. It was very sweet. I got him like a workout bag that he had on this Amazon list and then he told me he was like lifting 500 pounds or something and I was like Jesus but he, he meant it in a different way and so I was like okay not as impressive but still good oh no now you deserve a playthrough of <laughs> Game's fun. I like the story. You have xenophobia. You have xenophonia. Okay, well, that's different. Just don't have the sound on. <laughs> Besides, if I started the Xeno stuff, shouldn't I play Xenogears first? Yeah? Yeah. You need to see what Fei Fong Wong or whatever his name is is up to, you know? The whole story with that. <laughs> Not forget it? Okay. Alright, one more. What you make, Marsh? Maybe I'll do a natural magic run. That'd be fun. And like stressful. Skip the 
that turn ones with the turn no so you took it out of your shopping cart oh well thanks where's the body off-brand velita sheets velita shells cheese and hot dogs that sounds good Well, I do have, I have Xeno, Xenoblade now, so. Now my only excuse is I want to play other games at the moment. Alright, we'll paint this and then I am good for the night. Play Super Mario World again. Marsh, have you ever, have you, have you beaten Super Mario World yet? We should have a community, everyone streams Super Mario World, uh, week. There I go. No? Okay. The whole turkey dinner is home? You have turkey? I don't know how we would do it, but I think it'd be fun. This is a hour and a half. I like this one. Actually, this one. I like this one. All 96 exits. No deaths. No deaths. No blue Yoshi. I could do no blue Yoshi. I like Blue Yoshi though. No skips. Bring it on. Except for the dying part. I might I definitely might die. Super Mario World's pretty easy. So, I feel like that's a good Mario game. Actually, I don't know of any Mario games that are tough, honestly, but... You know, where you're like, oh yeah, this is the... Oh, Lost... You're right, I haven't played Lost Levels. Maybe I should do that sometime. But not all of us are streamers, but I still think it would be fun just as like a, a thing. It would be a fun thing to do. Got a War 2, you got it down to 4. What's the, uh, what's like the world record? I keep putting red all over the place. I don't mean to. Well, I know, cause so there's a Marsh, there's a secret, not secret mana, not a secret mana, there's a mana game coming out, and it's coming out for everything except the Switch, so everyone's like, oh, it must be because there's like the Switch 2 or the Super Nintendo Switch or whatever people are calling it coming out, and that's what it's going to be coming out on. Three hours off, hey, you know, that's not bad though. So... I love the Switch. It's one of my favorite systems. I think they did a great, great job on it. Okay. So we put... Let's call it the Switcheroo. When I saw on Twitter, some, some people were like, call it the Super Nintendo Switch. And I was like, yeah, I love the Super Nintendo. Call it that. Maybe, but it just, it definitely seems like one of those types of games would absolutely be on the Switch. You know what I mean? Okay. So 
Adventure Road 2 Electric Bugaloo. And there was a news piece that some company put out an announcement of a game that said something like it was coinciding with the release of the Switch 2 in September 2024. Ooh. Dawn of Mana? Uh. No, it's Sword of Mana was the one I played on, like, the DS or the Game Boy Advance or something. I don't know which one Dawn of Mana was. All right. Sorry, I'm just trying to make things... Hello. Should clean you up. You're all dirty. There you go. No, no. I went longer than I meant to anyway. Is my mic working? Okay. La 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 la. Okay, just checking. I made it so when I switch over to art stuff, I don't blast you guys with my other mic settings. Hopefully. Although that was hilarious, I did feel bad. Hold on. Let me just... I don't think so. I do. It's what I use to hold the camera so it doesn't... Does not wiggle. See, this is the where the camera stuff went. All right. Beautiful. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Do the normal stuff. Let's get a going. Let's see if anyone's doing art. I'm trying to like raid into the right categories now. You know, it makes more sense. I am in art. Who is in art? <laughs> it is what it is. I don't know. You know, it wasn't planned. Alright, as always, there are my socials. That's not how you type that. Pick one, pick all. Follow them all. Yeah? Yeah? Let's find... Small streamer doing something artalicious. If you're new and you haven't followed, please... Please feel free to follow so you know when I'm live. Oh, I need... I need less. Hold on. Yes, I am perpetually the small streamer. Thank you. I appreciate the love. My lips are all chapped. Take all my lip stuff off. Anything interesting? <laughs> if you guys have an idea for a raid message, let me know. I don't I don't I don't know one. Can't think of anything. Sarah's drawing like weird stuff. There's no one's doing any sculptures. That's that one's scary.
Marsh, you are a mod, by the way. No, Carl Trigger's great. Is that what we're gonna do as a raid message? Okay, we can do that. <coughs> there we go. There you go, now you have a raid message. Oh, this is pretty, here. I don't know what's going on. Who are you? All right, we're gonna raid this person. I don't know who they are, but they're drawing something nice. Last time we raided, you asked the person where you're. <laughs> That's not a bad idea either. Oh, their chat is emote only. Never mind. Damn it! I closed my thing. This is why I don't do this. It's tedious. Oh, Alan, thank you for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. We're just gonna see Knott's here. I didn't even see him. There you go. <clears throat> so we're right in see Knott. He sculpted something. I can't quite tell because there's an ad, but that's all right. <clears throat> I did say small. I immediately just scrolled past the, the top people, but... Let me get this all set up. I'll be on tomorrow, my normal time, 4.30, 4, 4.30. 4, I... What? Don't make the ad again. What is this bullshit? Hold on. It's being weird. Okay, I have to reload. This is great. There we go. Okay. Now it works. All right. Anyway, enough of that. I'll be on tomorrow. Like I said, 4 4 30. I'll play some Mario, Mario RPG. We'll be VTubing. Um, and then maybe I will try for Friday. We'll see for my Mario RPG. Thank you for hanging out, everybody. Thank you for the very, very kind support. Truly appreciate it. Really, truly. Um, I'm gonna lump around for the rest of the night. Get the stuff done I have to get, and then I'm just gonna. I'm gonna lumpify. And I think that's uh that's everything. Thank you for hanging out. I will. I will have fun lumping, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!